recording. Okay, just finished leveling everyone up, waiting for Zahn and Brendan. Um, Geth, how, how's Geth feeling? We're starting into this kind of like next chapter of the story. He is exhausted, um, both physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. uh, he he's, he's just really tired, but he's very thankful that Tamora was on his side and allowed them to uh, all get out alive, even if just barely. Probably because of that sand, right? Thank you. It was the sand! Had to be. I still have it. So it's gotta be it. It's gotta sand? be it. Oh yeah, what sand, Geth? Back in, um... Can you turn it Oh god. Nope. Uh, it was Three Rivers. Back in Three Rivers, uh, on Yargos, we came across this fortune teller who told us um, some interesting things. And I didn't exactly get like a future told but she gave me a bag of sand and told me to carry it. And uh, that if I did that, um, like tomorrow would basically have my back. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm already a follow up to, to of, uh, tomorrow. So that's perfect. Um, and then I prayed at one point and more sand appeared. So I shuffled that into my bag as well. He did. I don't know what that really means when you pray and more sand <laughs> appeared, but I guess- I don't know either. It was the first, like, good prayer roll he ever rolled, and it wasn't even great. It was just okay. <laughs> I think it was, like, a 13. <laughs> yeah. Brockus, where do you go now? What's next for Brockus after... What what path do you follow? Brockus is... Brockus is satisfied. He has... He has his master's items, and he is very, uh... Very excited to continue on the quest with his friends. Um, he's beyond thankful that uh, they allowed him to retrieve his inheritance. So now that uh, he finally, finally believes that his last uh, quest from his master has been complete, he is fulfilled. So after all this time, do you think Aerith is dead or alive? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Oh, I'm oh, like, dead. what? <laughs> yeah, Aerith um, has been a ghost the whole time. Yeah, right. No, um, he doesn't believe Aaron is alive. Uh, he thinks that it was just um, said to trick. Well, he he believes that Aaron is gone. Um, he's not gonna try to give his hopes up. Um, mm. and then get his heart broken again. So he's just gonna believe that he's dead until otherwise. Okay. Aerith, what's next for Aerith? You tried to settle down for a while. That obviously didn't happen. Now you guys are in the middle of the woods. Yeah, Aerith wasn't sure. Aerith just wanted the gold, and now, I don't know, he's going to look for something to spend it on. That's fair. Some nice, shiny thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. Or a woman, perhaps. Cool. Perhaps. Oh, my God, a we lesbian. <laughs> you write a lesbian. <laughs> um and jay what about you now you're a little bit wealthier i guess than you were right they didn't give me any money yet oh, that's fair so no. wealthier <laughs> in friendship um <laughs> very excited to have friends again that was kind of jay's goal and the fact that she currently has a purpose to her life is everything that she wanted from this little adventure in itself um at the beginning of um, joining this group, she was really expecting this just to be her way out, not to kind of starting to like everyone, but being in some near death scenarios really is a bonding experience, she's found out. That's true. It has to be, right? <laughs> every really every time. Um, and she's still looking for her little place, but she's like, she's content with where she is. She also killed a fucking dragon, and she will be like getting a tattoo of that on her chest. Oh my she goodness! Says, like I need that dragon, you know. Dragon Slayer. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! That's it. That's the That's one. That's better, right? Dragon, dragon Slayer. Even though she only hit the dragon once, and it was at the end, she really went in for that easy kill. You missed like, so many times. That's it, it was embarrassing. You could scroll up and just see the painful rolls. It was rough. You had a rough time. Yeah. Yep. 
which was a necessity in the end. The <laughs> can we talk about Aerith? You guys, everyone, Aerith, come over and help because the one thing that was stopping the chest from moving was Aerith's strength. That's Bro, the logic of the game. Fucking unlocking it. Oh, we exactly. could have gotten it oh. and no, got the fuck out. attention to the letter. The letter said we had to defeat the protector. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What did? Yeah. Have we all thought about the letter at all? No, I didn't give a fuck about the letter. I was, I was giving a fuck about the dragon. So I was giving a fuck about. <laughs> what were we gonna? What were we gonna do? Pull it out while we're getting fucking breathed on by a fucking nightmare dragon? Uh, I don't know about y'all. Nightmare breath. If you can best my protector, though, and figure out the labyrinth below. A reward worth more than dragon's weight in gold awaits. I guess it's time to start. So that would be either the sword, the thing we don't know about that someone stole, or the <laughs> hat is worth more than a dragon's gold in weight in gold. Or the actual dragon's weight in gold that was in the chest. <laughs> well, the dragon disappeared. You went, uh, yeah. We didn't even take a tooth. He 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 disappeared. He just disappeared. Yeah. Maybe we could have taken a tooth. Maybe the tooth wouldn't have disappeared. Maybe that know. tooth be though. I feel like it'd be the size of our head. Yeah, no. we could sell it. No, I mean it was large, but it was like ten foot by like the dragon's like ten foot by ten foot. So it's a baby. It was a it was a square. Yeah, yeah, he was a square. Yeah, it, 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 it was a cube dragon, ten foot by ten foot by ten foot. <laughs> Geth, what's next for Geth? Where does Geth want to go? Now? Um, as per usual, Geth has his own ambitions that he would like to follow, but he wants to ultimately leave it up to uh, the rest of the group. However, at the moment, he feels very strongly about trying to finally deliver Am's letters to his family. Um, that and visiting the, uh, <clears throat> what was it, like a maid? Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Geth dies right now. I, I I declare it. The dragon comes back and eats Geth. Um, no. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, he wants to deliver the letters to Am, but he also would like to try and make his way towards Saba, uh, because that seems to be the one place that might that has potential for a uh, uh, some sort of like. Um, Colby just catching up. Ed educational yeah. stuff. I, I wasn't doing anything. Interesting. Okay. Um, Geth wants more books. Geth wants. You haven't even finished the books you have. More books. He's I have a money now. You're. Yep. Yeah, I don't. I don't know to tell you, but yeah, you, you haven't finished your books. I mean, what what do you have for books right now? By the way, Geth. Uh, I think I only have two left, and one of them I can't even read because I don't know Gnomish. Ah, uh, yes. You have the. Um, so what two do you have left? So you have the the hunt and your. I, I, like, I have the hunt. Uh, I finished the direct history of enchanting. Like a little and under halfway done with the hunt, or at halfway done with the hunt. You finished the yeah. direct history of mining, yeah. Of mining or enchanting? Because I know I finished the uh, chateau oh, okay. mining book. You did finish um, the direct history of enchanting, yes. Uh, I also have the brief history of the war. Um, yeah, which that's is not very brief. No, that thing is absurdly long. <laughs> it's actually shorter than the hunt, oddly enough. And then I still have the centaur book, but I think I gave. I think uh, Zahn's been reading that one mostly. Oh, horse or human? A ballad of centaurs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a great name of a book. Mm -hmm. um, no, that one is also finished, though, to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we get a, a like Amazon like uh, my Kindle gives me my reading speed? I want to know guest reading speed. Oh, it's oh, it it's is like first incredibly grade. slow. Like first grader <laughs> reading ability. But Colby, first... I, ha I, I oh, have to I magically have to enhance my reading ability just so I can make it through a couple chapters a night. Yeah, and even that you struggle with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my intelligence is not there. And that's okay. I'm, I'm working on it. Is that Brennan? Yep. So be nasty over there. Okay, yeah. So you did your training arc with like Zahn for like the scimitar? Training you arc. Need to do <laughs> yeah, remember the tiny little uh, training you did with uh, when we were at the hotel in the. Oh, I've I've I worked on that literally the entire time we were going yeah, through the even better. You need to do that with Aerith now, but it's just those like minute long like math quizzes. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just to you learn might how to be right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oof, I and it is... That would be comedy gold, like Aerith teaching death math. I can, I, I would say I can teach you about religion, but that zero religion score ain't gonna help no one. I could teach you about religion. You um, could teach me about religion. Yeah, didn't you know shame. Aerith is an expert in all magic items, some fucking how? Yeah, I, was, I almost <laughs> made it in portals, dude. It's probably the dumbest fact about this campaign is that Aerith just knows magic items as a slightly magical rogue. Yep. Yeah. No, he knows about portals. He does know about portals. <laughs> and pens. Um, so we just finished leveling everyone up. It was a pretty straightforward level up other than they got a proficiency bonus of three. If Zon, whenever Zon's ready, um, no rush at all. If yeah. he wants to make his, his, um, hit dice roll. Yeah. Michaela, do you want to make your, uh, hit dice roll real quick and then yeah. you can keep doing your thing? Yeah, yeah. Zon got an extra attack. Yeah. So did, That's so did Jay. And stunning nice. strike. Nice. Yeah. The stunning strike was also pretty good. Yeah, it's like the the con save is really low for that. It's like twelve or something. Yeah. But, but so, the extra attack that means Zon's just gonna be punching like four times a turn. It's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> actually no, slashing twice and punching twice. Yeah, you need it. Some extra slashes happening. All right. Um, I love it. But yeah, Zon. So yeah, yours is just a D eight. So and you get that. Yeah, she's. Yeah, it, it, it really is in a rush. Um, I just, so we are currently, I was just kind of, I asked everyone kind of like where their heads were at, where they, what was next for them. Um, it is going to be 8 a.m. Um, on this day that you guys are on. I, I feel like you guys probably don't know what day it is. So, but it is 8 a.m. is where we're going to start this session um, with the group of you guys waking up in a minute. Um, and uh, you guys will wake up uh, comfortably in your beds in the Brock, which is kind of a big win. Because you didn't have to sleep in that uh, tunnel down uh, below. How nice. Uh, just roll your hit dice. Do you never roll your hit dice? You never do I don't. No, we never wow. do dice. I heal. Good. 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 It's just the word hit dice? Yep. <laughs> uh, you Christian, is, that what, is that what Brock is looks max? like? Also, yes, that Zon, is what he looks like. I worked hard on that. I love it. Zon, you did uh, complete a long rest, so you're back at full health. Everyone is at full health. You get plus everything. you get plus three to your max HP. Yay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's what it. was this out of? Uh, eight. Eight. It was one to eight is what you could have added. Brock, or at least you didn't roll a nat one like Gath. But my plus two cons, con modifier gave me the same, so yeah. yeah. So what, what's everybody's HP at right now? 37. 50. Well, you're not you're not Aerith, who has 25, so. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Aerith's almost like, he's a little more than half of everyone else. He's a, he's a little <laughs> more than half a person. He's half of me. He is half of Jay. <laughs> he's one half of Jay, yes. it's Will. Take that. Okay. I think we're ready. Sorry, thanks for waiting. No, of no course. worries. Um, I think it's my just messy. <laughs> Colby, is that hair in a bun or just messy? It's just messy. That's what I thought. Okay. 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 I, if you know Colby, it's, it's probably just messy. Um, with that, let's get started. It is 8 a.m. as you guys awaken in your rooms in the Brock. What do you guys want to do? I'm coming down an hour later. <laughs> an hour later. I like it. Get Geth is going to take his time, and he's going to go sit at the bar and uh, read for a little bit. Okay. Jay's gonna go down, get breakfast and a drink, and start sharpening her tools. Yeah, so that's gonna be four copper a piece for a drink and a breakfast. Um, Aerith? Yep, Aerith will also come down and get breakfast and will be admiring his new sword. Okay, and Zahn? Zahn will come down and get breakfast and sit at one of those tables. I, Zahn doesn't want anything to do with the group. I love it. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Blockus, after as they're all eating, you'll make your way down. Okay, I'm gonna go out to the uh, to the fireplace real quick and I'm gonna get me um, some coal and I'm gonna get uh, see if I can find some stones. Can I find some stones? Uh, yeah, you can see a stone in the picture, so I would lie to you if I said there wasn't stones there. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way back inside. Yeah, you're good. I, I put your character tokens on if you guys want to move them around, you don't have to, obviously, but just for. There you go. 
But yeah, you make your way back inside and see the group kind of enjoying their breakfast. Okay. I'm trying to find... Ah, oh, there I am. There I am. <sighs> okay. So, um... Let's walk in. Um... Uh... I'm gonna walk over to Geth. Where's Geth? There, he is. there in the walk- center. All right, cool. He's a little red boy for some reason. He's like very small. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to Geth. I'm gonna look at him, and I'm gonna say, "Stay the fuck out of this." Oh. All right. And I'm gonna turn back toward Aaron. Oh. And I'm gonna say, "Hey, uh, this is your first and last warning." Hmm. Give me the sword or it's your ass. That's all there is to it. I don't know what twisted satisfaction you get from my fucking dismay, but you've had your fill and my patience is expended. Ask yourself, is whatever you're doing worth your life? Now you can hand me the sword and I'll pretend this never happened and we can continue on whatever the fuck we're finna do, or I can, can or I can retrieve it from your corpse. Aaron you playing outside. He's scared. <laughs> well, uh, Brockus, you see him moving. Do you make any attempt to stop or anything? Oh yeah. All right. Um. Uh, well, Aaron's gonna <laughs> run over here. Aaron's gonna try to hide. <laughs> I will. If he moves away, I'm gonna attack him. Yeah, Eric, you have to still move away. You can't. I, I understand. I said you could just move, but if he's talking at you, he's looking at you. Um, yeah. Are you actually going to try to attack him as he walks away? You're damn right. Hey, Eric, put yourself back in here if you can, please. And oh, okay. roll into initiative. Uh, you will get the the attack, but um, can I have everyone roll regardless? Yeah. And Tom's <laughs> backing up. What is happening? Wait, Jay, wait, what? is Imp there? Yes, yes. Imp is down with me. Jay whispers to Geth, should I get involved? <laughs> I I don't think so. I think it's best to let them duke it out and decide for themselves. All right, uh, let okay. me roll initiative Let's real be quick. Clear, I'm on Baracus' side. Okay, I and I'm there. I did uh, get Bear back at the end of last session. What? Or yeah. while they're waking up, I did cast uh, so yep, yeah. Wait, No, you had it last session, you're right. Um, Cool. Um, and yep. So uh, the attack by Brock is a nineteen. Aerith does a nineteen hit. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, on a reaction. I'm gonna cast shield. Okay. Right, hold on one second. Hold on one second. <laughs> I am going to cast on my reaction. When I see him do that, I am going to cast this. Do. Just blocked what he. Oh, you have to make a um. Make an, oh no, yeah, no, that just blocks it immediately. Um, so Aerith, you're gonna take five damage, and will you roll me a con save? And then you'll have your full movement, Aerith, before we start at the top of initiative. Okay. Because you did okay. say you were running. Uh, yeah, you passed that, so you're gonna take um, uh, nineteen total damage. Uh, oh, sorry, no, um, twelve total damage. Okay. And then you have your full movement, and then with that, we're at the top of the order. Um, is everyone on here? Yeah. Oh, Imp. Is Imp on here? Uh, do I oh, see him? Uh, Rock is you roll an eight, and Imp rolled a nine. What, what is it with only your familiars? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then did Bear, did you roll one for Bear? Uh, oh, I did not. Let me. Um... Roll one for Bear, if you will. Aerith. Uh, one second. Let me get his character sheet up. Boom, boom. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Marge slowly uh, made her way away and <laughs> started to cook in the mood. She said, "That's not. It's not my business." Bear. Not in my bar. Um. Okay. Barrington. <laughs> Barrington. I like it. All right. Cool. Um. Very, very, very. Then Aerith, you have your normal movement. Um. If you would like to take it after being, as you try to slip away, you get, um, a little bit um stabbed, with a needle. <laughs> Gosh dang, um, I'm gonna be like, whoa, let's calm down. Uh, I'm going to, let's see, how far can I move? You're just normal movement, the 40. Oh yeah, oh, it's not up. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say, let's just talk this out. <laughs> Aaron, uh, 
Mm. Okay. Oh, sorry. Actually, no. Aerith is Aerith don't attack. Aerith is gonna fight back. Uh, he's gonna do a uh, short sword attack. No, now you... we're now we're into initiative. That was you said you were running, and that's why he got that attack on you. It's solely because you were running. Oh, okay. So I was saying you have your movement if you still want it, and then we're at the top of the initiative. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna move here because I was trying to run. Yep. Okay, Jay. Um, Jay is going to draw her great axe and stand over here close to Geth. Um, she's ready to fight if need be. Um, but I think she's going to have to. Well, right. That's it. Zahn, you're over at your other table by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. So. Where is Aerith? Yeah, I couldn't see him. I think that was his goal. <laughs> no, he's um give me a uh a, a perception check if you're looking for him, Zon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um he's in the bottom left corner of the carpet with a 20. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you ball. saw him run over there is the thing, but I was still gonna yeah. use the you almost missed it somehow. You're doing that. Yeah. Is that? Oh, just is it? Am I within five feet right here? What do you mean? If you move? If I move right there, I can I like get to him from right there? Y'all can't see uh, the arrow, right? Is that close enough? Like his movement arrow? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, they can't. The, okay, I was like, I can see this, and I'm like, oh, interesting. Oh, no, okay. I, uh, I think so. That's Aerith measuring. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, I think so. I'm just going to try my stunning strike. <laughs> okay. Zon, what are you doing? Um, so I'm going to move here, and I'm going to try my stunning strike. What's your movement? Will you put in the chat? Yeah, is your mo what is your movement? Is 40. It's 40. Then, yeah, you can definitely make it there. Oh, my gosh. The monk just floats over there. When you hit another creature... So you use this after you've hit someone. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Well, you can you can do non like deadly damage or yeah. you can punch or something. Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah, I'll do. I'll just take the hilt and like non deadly. Okay, so yeah. so um, how non deadly works is if you down someone with a melee attack, you can choose to knock them unconscious. Otherwise, you're just dealing damage. Yeah. Um, but you're punching Aerith. Yep, I'll punch him. Can so I shout your no. unarmed strike? Zon just sprinted over there and went straight to the punch. Is interesting. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, shield. For boom. That it hasn't been your turn yet, though, so I don't know if you have shield a reaction. reaction. Yeah, no, I know. I don't. I don't think you have one. Because you just used it. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, no, that was before combat. So yeah, that was that was before combat started, unless. Reaction only comes after your turn, but I don't think you get it. per turn you get one action, bonus action, reaction. Yeah, so it so was before initiative started. I I feel like he would still have it. That okay. was that was a separate round. Like normally the those sneak attacks are kind of like pre-round, so it's a separate round between before the initial round. I'm gonna go with he's good on this one. However, Michaela, you can use your stunning strike because you oh no, you have to hit, so no, you can't. So you just you punch and Aerith is oh, able to uh, dodge deflect the blow magically. Oh, that's a bummer. I wanted to see how that worked. <laughs> Anything else is on. You just sprinted over here and just punched at the air a little. <laughs> no, I won't punch him again. Aerith, can you explain to me what happens when you cast shield? Is it like do you how do you see the shield working to protect you? Uh I mean, I've always just imagined it as like just like a little uh you know, magical bubble that, like, whenever they swing at me, like, all of a sudden, just magical little see-through bubble pops up and bing, just bounces off. No, not like a cool thing where they punch the air near you and a force field blocks it. It's it's a magical bubble. You chose giant bubble. Hey. Well, I see it as a force field, but yeah, I see it as like a <laughs> bubble around me. Hey. Okay. What's up, Rockus? Uh, if I have a reaction, can I get him before that? Um, 
Because technically, what Y did was before Combat 2? Uh, yeah, I mean, yours was also before Combat because of the ruling. I just need to... Let me double check the ruling for reaction because now we're in a whole different world. Um, um, what is the range on your reaction exactly? 60 feet. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't based off that. So, Zahn, your unarmed strike does hit if you're casting that on your spell. Zahn deals six damage to Aerith. And uh, are you going to use your stunning strike? Yeah. Uh, Brockus, you gotta, I know this, we're kind of playing in uncharted waters here, but you gotta be quicker if you're gonna do a reaction. Well, no, I was trying to, I was trying to- get oh, Okay, to I, didn't, I didn't see that you were. So, but in general, if we're gonna be, if you're reacting for the most part, everyone, any reaction, especially because reactions are gonna be bigger parts now that you guys are at higher levels. Reactions need to happen relatively quick. So just uh, throw it in the chat as soon as it happens? Uh, or, I mean, just say it, just, you can just interrupt us if you're doing a reaction. Um, but for sure, you're good right here. Um, Brock is or Aerith, you take six damage, and then are you you are using your stunning strike, Zon? Yes. yes, yes, sorry. I give a constitution saving throw, um, Aerith. And what is your saving throw? You said 12, Brendan. Um, it might be 13, 13. because the proficiency bonus went yeah. up one. Aerith oh, passes, so Aerith, basically, you that punch, you can feel it almost stun you but then you feel okay after that and geth you are up that was oof that was an interesting one geth geth is gonna pick up his book move over to the chair and continue reading <laughs> oh my god i i don't even know what to say about that one imp <laughs> let's see imp is going to oh that's beautiful all right, so Imp is going to fly over. Wait, I can't control him. Oh my God, okay, where do you want him? I want him right here. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he's gonna bite. That's Zahn, but go for it. Roll me your bite attack. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, would, you would know that's Zahn before you yeah, yeah. You know, obviously he knows that's Zahn but if he runs over here and wants to bite that is my bad bite. never mind fuck it he'll just he'll just be over there uh chilling then oh my goodness <laughs> I love how ready he was to bite Zahn though it's okay um okay anything else imp you, you can uh, move it now Baracus. beautiful all right yeah no no he's good Baracus. <laughs> all right Baracus is going to move right here and he's going to shout i don't want to hurt you and then he is going to aim uh eldritch blast twice at his legs twice sir you're not fully hilarious um, and oh, eight, no. <laughs> definitely misses, and a twenty-one hits, right, Aerith? Twenty-one hits. Aerith is down. Or no, uh, I only get the one Great. reaction. I can't use another reaction. The no, not until eight. after your turn, unfortunately. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Aerith is down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go feed him that. Uh, and then let him in. On on shield, it does stay. It does say until the start of his next turn. But so he, he still has that. It so it doesn't. It, yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, Jake. Yeah, we're, yeah, he's good on that one. Okay, so that does hit Aerith, you're downed. Um uh, uh Brockus, anything else this turn? Mm, I'm a little bit closer. Aerith, will you roll me a death saving throw? Because you're next. Uh. Oh my god, Aerith. Okay. Um Okay. Bear is gone, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Uh, do you have your find familiar thing? Uh, I can pull it up. Sorry, thank you. It's okay. No or no. Brendan, if you remember for that. Treats? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I think he's. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not. I don't remember. It appears that all twin can suspect. If you find this, you find find when you cast you find this. Oh my God! There's so many things. Need to 
Oh, cool. It says um, it acts independently of each other. As far as I know, Bear is alive. Um, so Bear is, Bear is Bear's turn. Uh, Bear is going to, I guess, just move over here and hoot angrily at Baracus for needlessly attacking the person who saved his life yesterday. <laughs> and he hoots aggressively. Jay. Jay is going to look absolutely shocked um, <laughs> and go, I don't think... This is my fight. Outside <laughs> 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 and cross her legs while hey, 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 her hey. sword. Zon Queen. I'll do a med check on Aerith. Come on, Zephyr. I roll me a medicine check. How do I do that? Uh, medicine is a skill. It's on the left. Have you never rolled a medicine check either? I, it's it's wow. like the first. Like, John has done nothing except light <laughs> the air and stab people. Punch everything. Yeah. Is that negative five? No, you're plus uh, yeah, five. That oh, yeah, that stabilizes Aerith. Really? Aerith, you are now stable. Will you roll me a 1d4, Aerith? Uh. Okay. Um, and uh, is anyone still in combat? I'm going to move away from Aerith. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my seat. Okay, um, with that, we're out of combat, and you guys are good to move freely. My goodness. You know, um, like, Aerith, you are unconscious, leaning against the wall in the corner. I did say I wanted to fight right off the bat, now that I have... <laughs> you chose not to fight. <laughs> this isn't what I meant! <laughs> I am going to uh, go over to Aerith's body. I'm going to retrieve my sword. And I am also going to, no, no, run through his pockets. He lost. I'm run through his pockets. Give me an investigation check. Uh, sure will. Hey, oh, that's ridiculous. Um, what do you want to see? Oh, Tell me what the fuck I see. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's um, nice. Thank you you see inside his pockets like fully yeah let me have that diamond <laughs> um so yeah you 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 take the diamond that you find yeah mm -hmm. add yeah. all right diamond to your character sheet and colby if you okay. want to take that off yours and a little I'm less finesse but uh <laughs> what's same that rockets i said uh, what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna drop uh, I'm going to drop, let's see, let me think, I'm trying to do some calculation. I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop a hundred gold. I'm going to put a hundred gold pieces in his pocket. All right, Eric, a hundred gold, gold pieces to your character sheet. All right, I'm going to take off a hundred gold from yours. For it's okay. I that you have. Yep. So let me do that real quick. Uh, let's see. So after doing that, I am going to look at everyone and I'm going to usher them to the table. I this one right here. <laughs> I usher yeah. to the table. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to move this way. Are right. we just going to leave Aerith there <laughs> for now or? Dave? He's fine. <laughs> get, get feels bad. <laughs> Go get him. Uh, just out of curiosity, Aerith, what is what is Bear up to at this moment? Bear is just looking around confused because he thought people would, you know, be grateful for having their lives saved, but I guess not. Bear's head is just rotating in circles. Bear tense. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say... I'm gonna. I'm sorry you had to see that. Um, I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Um, that was my master sword and his belongings. Um, thank you guys for respecting that. And uh, all I really want is just passage home. So I'll take 250, and you can split the rest. How much is the rest? I have that. Hold on. Jay, are you still wearing that hat? 
No, I give the hat to um, Baracus okay, cool. immediately. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not going to have Baracus <laughs> fight Jay as well. With, that, <laughs> with those wings of flying, Jay would be mincemeat in seconds. I'm <laughs> just going to say. I think we should. Your javelins can only do so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone, please add 400 and actually just 400 gold. Uh, does that include Aerith? No, that does not include Aerith. I gave him gold. Does it include Imp? No, it's not included. <laughs> Imp I, is mine. I, <laughs> Imp has his own pockets, though. He's an, he's an independent for, adult. For this um, gift, I did not expect so much. And Jay bows her head to you. Thank you. Um, if you guys believe he deserves more and I was unfair, it's not too late to tell me. But uh, as of right now, that is what he's getting. I think it's fair. It's honestly your fortune, Baracus. I don't think we expected to receive anything. Sorry. Oh. Do you keep muting people while they are saying things? No, I'm sorry. I just posted something that didn't mean anything. For <laughs> 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 <Hey>, oh. <laughs> 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 hey, man. I'm scared. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, sorry, continue. <laughs> um, well, oh, now you get to improv. Sweet. <laughs> I'm terrified now. Um, uh, Baracus, with all due respect, I, I'm not sure this is the best way to go about it. I respect your wishes. I just... If you plan to stay with us and Aerith plans to stay with us as a group, I don't know if this is the best for team morale. <laughs> team morale? Team fucking morale? I, I'm just saying, like, we, so, we should at so, least... So, so the master that I have spent so many years with, so many years training under, his inheritance wasn't rightfully mine. I asked for one thing. I asked for one thing. That's all I asked for. So if I'm being unfair, you can tell me I'm being unfair. But I don't think I'm being unfair. I asked for one thing. I said y'all can have the gold. I said that. All I wanted was my master's items. And what I, is, this is not the first time he's done something like this. We've been together long enough. I have no hard feelings whatsoever at all otherwise I, he wouldn't be here i understand i would have killed him yesterday but i quite thought honestly, it over I'm, quite honestly i'm surprised you didn't considering how weak we all were you might have had an easier time i wanted to think about this rationally because he he is my friend he is my buddy he's my comrade which i thought would make him understand I, I only have one more question. Yes. Are you willing to work with him from here on out? Of course. I got what I wanted. Then that's, then that's all I needed to know. Yeah. I, well, I have no very... hard feelings. None. Look at me. None. No hard feelings. <laughs> Geth looks at the scars on Baracus's arm. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe some. <laughs> no. No hard feelings. Is it okay if I go tend to him? I'll help you. <laughs> uh, and with that, Geth will uh, put his book back in his bag and go towards Aerith. Yeah, Geth, you didn't um, get any reading done. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, even if I, even if you, I told me to roll. I was gonna say like, no, Geth's just rereading because it's been a while since he oh, read. Oh my god, no, not after this wine. <laughs> I can move it if you want, but. <laughs> uh, Geth walks over to Aerith, and uh, I think I'm just gonna take him up to his room for now. I hope. You uh, do. And yeah, uh, I'll, uh, Geth will start to pick him up and try and carry him back to Aerith's room. Uh, give me a strength check. I'm helping. Uh, I'm, oh, you're helping? Um, yes. Then at advantage. Uh, my strength is a plus. Uh, 10. Uh, 19. Yeah, you're good to go. You can carry Aerith back to his room, no problem. All right, Google. I got to let you down. I don't know how this happened. Uh, Geth uh, will tend to Aerith if Baracus wants to go and enjoy his morning, or at least part of it. Part of it. Yes, 
part of it. All right. Um, all right, yeah, what are you guys up to back in the room? Uh, Jay and Zahn. Uh, Zahn's eating breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> An unbothered king. I am sharpening my sword. I got it. I, um, yeah, you guys take Aerith up to his room and are able to drop him off, no problem, the two of you are, and make your way back down. Uh, Geth stays with him. Okay. Geth, what are you up to in there? Are you just kind of waiting? Uh, I'm going to wait to see if Barakas leaves. Barakas, what about you? Yeah, yeah, no, I left. Um, a couple minutes after Barakas leaves, uh, I'll reach over and I'll uh, cast Cure Wounds at level 2 on him. Uh, to bring him back up. Uh... Right. Um, yeah. So Brock, as you make your way back down, yeah, roll that. Eleven. I uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the one on that first one. It's ridiculous. Third next to a ten. Yeah, uh, Eric, you're awake with eleven and an absolutely wicked headache. Oh. oh. Oh, I just had the weirdest dream. Oh, Barack has attacked me for no reason. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say without reason, and it also wasn't a dream. What? And I, I feel my pockets, I notice the stuff missing, I'm like, did, did he just rob me? I don't really know. Really killed me or it. robbed me? I don't know if you can call it robbery considering that was... I didn't consent was, to it, so I'm gonna call it that. How... I mean... I... I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aerith... I think you need to try and work better with us. Or I'm gonna be killed. Is that what's happening? No. I just think it might be better for all of us if you worked with us. Actually, if worked you're gonna with threaten us. me. Treat it as, it outright. I'm. I'm not threatening you in the slightest. You're I, able to make I didn't your own notice decision. you reading your book as I was nearly murdered. You want me to give more to this group after three of y'all or two of y'all just let it happen, and while two y'all tried to assault me and did. I'm assault. also. The, I'm also one. I'm also the one that brought you back. You're allowed to make your own see. decisions and your own judgments as you see fit. All I'm saying is, is you're going to steal from us one time too many. What did I steal? I won't. The sword. I did not steal it. I took the sword that I earned. That was in a chest that was left by Ernan. He said he, he said he we... wanted one of the items, and he said he just wanted one of them. And uh, it was an inheritance that we were sent on this mission to search he for. Could for to me about. He could have talked to me about. He could have not attacked me. Aerith, I can't stick up for you forever. When have you? This entire time. I have tried to keep you from getting into other people's businesses. I have tried to take your side in arguments and it's gotten me nothing but strife with the others in our party. I have tried to take your side and time and time again, you have let me down, you have lied and you have stolen from me. I am trying to not only be a party member but I'm trying to be your friend and you treat me with nothing but disrespect. I brought you back so maybe I could help you realize that we care about you. You show no semblance of caring for us with how many times you have stolen from us, how many times you have refused to help us. All we are asking is that you treat us with the same respect we treat you. Okay, when next time you die, I won't save you. I will read a book. Fine, do it. I beg you, do it. Leave me to die. If that's how you feel I have treated you this entire time, do it. Completely disregard the amount of times I have saved you or healed you or tried to protect you, or done anything to keep you out of a fight to keep your life in your hands. Do it. Do whatever you feel fit. But all I'm saying is, if you continue to walk with us, then you need to see us as people, and you need to see us as your party members, not people you can steal from. Because again, you are going oh, to I, steal I from us one like time too many. Okay. You are going to steal from us one times too many, and you are going to regret it. We will no longer have your back as a party, and we will no longer have your back as friends. And with that, Geth will get up and leave. Uh, Brockus, what do you do when you make your way back down to join Zahn and Jay, who are Marcus, there? Oh, I get something to eat, and I'll bring it over to the table right here. 
All right, four copper pieces for anyone that got breakfast, four copper pieces for anyone that got a drink as well. Jay, your breakfast drink. I took it. Um, I'm going to actually go over to March and ask if she has any special treats in the back of the house for celebration. March has the blue dust. Excuse me, Marge. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's up? Um, do you have any special treats for like celebrations? You know, just something to lighten the mood a little bit. Uh, we have uh, is it Kraken? Would you like some some Kraken? Zon, is the Kraken stuff like the bad stuff? No, 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 no. We sell the best Kraken. It is a, the best. Am I going to trip balls? Yes. I don't want to trip balls today, Marge, but maybe tonight. For, yeah. for, a, special, for a special celebration. I, I really meant like some cookies or like cake. Um, <laughs> maybe an edible, like we just don't know uh, anything. Uh, these narcs. Uh, we have ale and I can get you uh, some paste. You can go get some pastries from the Toasty Turtle. Wait, <laughs> what are the turtle? <laughs> <laughs> uh okay thanks marge um never mind and i'm gonna give her a copper for trying <laughs> and she'll <laughs> hand you a small bag and she eh, just give it a just give it a little uh sniff oh god Good time. Dragon. you will take it no i just sniff it oh oh okay as as in take it <laughs> Is that what um, you do? Yeah. Is it like as you sniff it, um wait. Will you roll me a <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> will you roll me a 1D uh three? What is cracking? I still don't really know. Just roll me a 1D3. It's a drug. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Um I'm scared. As you turn back to the table, you see Baracus. And for the first time, you've noticed how kind of handsome Brockus is. And you find oh, yourself no. weirdly it... attracted to him in a very emotional way. In a sexual way or an emotional way? An emotional way. I go over to Brockus. Brockus, I just, I don't think I've ever told you what a great man you are. You are someone that in these last few days. And it wears I... off. Huh? <laughs> are, Jay, are, are, are you okay? I don't know. Are you um, okay? Am I okay? I, I mean, you're you're very strong, but like you're a good friend. Mm. <laughs> I Marge. You notice? Uh, yeah, Marge. What what did you notice? Sorry. Did I just get friend zoned because of Kraken? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Kraken has an interesting effect on everybody. How much for uh, <laughs> like one dose? <laughs> one dose? Yeah, one gold piece. I give her a gold piece. I take the Kraken. <laughs> you like eat the Kraken or you just add it? No, no, no. I add it to my pack. Yeah, I just add. Right. Um, yeah, you like, get a pouch of Kraken. Yep. Okay. And that's not going to weigh. It's a, yeah, it's not going to weigh enough to yeah. get worth weight. Aerith, what do you do if Geth leaves your room? So you take Kraken by snorting it, though? You you can take Kraken however you want, Kara. That's your, <laughs> your problem. Dude, you, know, you noticed when you open the, pack, the pouch, though, it's a very fine blue uh, powder. So when you sniffed, you got a little bit on your nose. Okay, that makes sense. Aerith, what'd you do when Geth left the room? Uh, yeah, Aerith is going to sit there and stew for a while. He's uh, going to try to take a short rest, get his health back. All right, yeah, um, yeah, you rest for a bit. I'll let you know if you finish that, okay? Gotcha. Um, yeah, uh, Geth, you at this point make your way down and see a uh, confused-looking Jay walking away <laughs> from uh, from Merge. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go join Barakas and Zahn. Is uh, is Jay okay? Oh, I'll, I'll be over here. Where? I'm I'm currently. Hey, you're in okay. The middle. Okay, got you. You're good. Treat in the puzzle. 
<laughs> Sorry. No, I was throwing a fit. <laughs> um, but yeah, Geth, what do you do as you walk back down? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join uh, Zahn and Barakas at the table and ask if Jay is okay. I think Jay said that she kind of liked me, but she scares me. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I told her that she's a really good friend. I did right, right? I, I did okay. I told her she was a really good friend. Was that, <laughs> that was the right thing to do, right? I, I think so. I mean, I've never had <laughs> any uh, romantic interest towards me, but like, you know. I, that sounds like the right know. idea. I don't know. I come over and sit down um, in my old place. <laughs> <books. laughs> Get I, side eyes, Jay, uh, the entire I don't, time. I don't feel the best anymore. Are you, are you, are you okay? Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Rock is I, this I have Marge for some cake, and she gave me some weird blue powder, and then I smelled it. Oh no! Did you, take, wait, you did took you take the Kraken? Kraken? No, I didn't take it. I just smelled it. That's how you take Jay. it, Jay. Jay, you seem to be a very capable person. However, there's no Kraken where it. I come from. There's wait, no so Kraken. You, so you really didn't feel that way about me? It was just Kraken. <laughs> I guess not. I don't know. Oh. Well, you're still cool. Okay. Can I, I, I think I need to lay down. And I just put my head down on the table for a second. <laughs> Rest. Mm -hmm. She hasn't read it yet. Don't worry. Um, Jay was a narc. Little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't cool enough to know. I was lame. I was yeah. fighting. I was busy getting my 50 HP. There you go. There you go. Earn there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, you guys are all sitting around the table. What do you guys want to do? Uh, Baracus, you don't happen to know of any other place that Ernan might have visited or has special interest in that you might want to visit before we leave? Because I believe uh, Ray is leaving within a few days. Uh, no, um, that's the only thing that was mentioned, so that's the only thing that, uh, I might want to go back to his, um, sanctuary, maybe, just to take one final last look at my master's, uh, stomping grounds or his legacy, but other than that, I have no other thing that is tying me here, so, um, I, I'm willing to go wherever y'all want to go. Um, y'all have, uh, y'all have blessed me and, uh, that is a debt I'll never be able to repay. So I will be spending my rest of my days trying to repay it. So thank you. And he's gonna uh, shed a tear and then just put his head down. All of a sudden the door of the, uh, Brock flies open and in runs a, uh, Banshee. what? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, in runs a very frantic um like wood elf man oh my god people i think the people above us down. are either moving furniture fucking or fucking while moving furniture and i can't be certain <laughs> I which think this is the last one. um but yeah a uh a, a half or sorry a wood elf man runs sprinting in his hair is pulled back into a very neat ponytail, except one really long strand is out and just like kind of sticking in front of him. His glasses are like hanging off his face and he runs straight up to the bar. And can I get a perception check from the four of you guys that are in here? Um, Mine, I'm not really trying to pay attention. It's at advantage for whoever does it. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Yeah, any, all of you guys can. Um, if you're not paying attention, you don't need to. But oh, Rox is not paying attention. All right. Uh, Geth rolled a twenty-two. Yeah, Geth, Zon, what about you? Are you listening? No. Okay, so Geth, this is what you hear. You hear the uh, the Wood Elf man run up, and you hear because of your twenty-two, him go. Okay, so Marge, um, so, <laughs> um, so he's here, right? Like sleeping, uh, I guess under one of the tables, maybe. Um. Yeah, no, no, and you see Marge kind of like shake her head no, like, uh, and you hear, I have not seen him, no idea, and he goes, oh, 
that's just great. Um, um, do you know anyone who, who might have? And uh, Mard points to the table uh, where you guys are sitting. What? <laughs> Little elf man hustles over, um, notices his hair is out of place, and tucks it very neatly back into his ponytail. And then goes, uh, uh, hey guys, um, so hi. Um, you guys don't know me. Uh, my name is Tomas. It's like tomato, but without the, the toe at the end, and you replace it with an S. Tomas. Um, <laughs> weird. I work for the um, prefect, and he has like a super important meeting here, and he's he, I haven't seen him, um, but uh, Marge here says you guys are good buddies of the prefect, drinking buddies, I assume. Um, you guys haven't seen him, right? Uh, we just woke up. Well, yeah, we I just don't, woke up. Don't do uh, that, man. La last session was a while ago. Did we, okay. or it was last week, did we see him whenever we walked in? Because I think I remember asking if uh, he was there. He was, wasn't he? I want to say yes. Yeah, he was. He was there at the end of last session when we walked in. Uh, I think he was here last night. Oh, perfect. So you guys know exactly where he is then. So you can you can go get him, right? Whoa, wait. Go get him. Mm. Uh, I don't I don't quite think so. You see, it's just like we... as a personal favor to the city of Ebenboro, Um, if you guys were the last ones to see him, then it would be so nice of you guys to go pick him up and deliver him to the uh, the, the 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 government building. But, but we don't know where he is. Well, um, neither do I, but it sounds like you guys saw him last. So that would be a huge favor to the city of Ebenborough. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me. Um, welcome to Ebenborough. My name is Tomas. I work for the, uh, the prefect. No, no. We, welcome to our city. We know who you are. It doesn't change the fact that we haven't seen. For how much money? He, he turns. You see him pull out like a little notebook. Um, how about the prefect of this fine city owes you a personal favor, and if he deems fit that we pay you from the treasury, then we'll see. Have you tried the rat's nest or any of the other bars, or which ones have you tried so far? Oh, that's genius. Um, see, I was just thinking, why don't I try exactly one place and ignore all the other places that he could possibly be? <laughs> Um, maybe mm -hmm. you should be aid to the prefect. No, I've tried every single oh. inn in town. Oh. I've been to the rat's nest. I've been to the itchy wife. I've been here. Then why are you coming to us? We don't know where he is. And quite frankly, I don't appreciate the attitude. Look, we are okay. trying to help. I'm doing the best I can here, okay? I am underpaid, overstressed, and he is a very difficult person to manage. But every now and then he has very important meetings that he needs to be at. So if you guys could skedaddle on up and go search either the places I've searched or new places, um, that'd be awesome for me, really. And what are you well, doing during this time? I have to go tend to the meeting to keep them distracted until you very graciously do a favor to this fine city who has treated you so kindly. Okay. What is the what is the meeting about? Maybe re, maybe reminding him of this information will jostle him awake enough to attend, if uh, we find him. Uh, the meetings. Um, it's about uh, um, uh, celery. Um, a, a new celery farm in the city. Do I believe him? <laughs> I don't believe. G him. Give me an insight check. <laughs> I don't believe him. Whether let's, or not we roll it or not. Ooh, let's go with that proficiency bonus. I get to, I get a plus seven. It's drugs. <laughs> It has to be drugs. Another twenty-two. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, you don't believe him. There's not. There's no salary <laughs> farm. <laughs> uh, Geth is gonna sigh. I think you should be truthful. I think that if you guys were good people to the city, then you would understand that clearly this is about more than celery, and it's important. And the less you know, the safer you are. You know, I think that we don't really care. And that if you do want us to care, you should actually offer us something other than a favor. Okay, how, how about this then? How bad do you want it? If you guys could help me out, then I don't have to tell the Carrick family that it's y'all that are the ones that are holding up the celery negotiation. Oh, oh, okay. I grab him by the shirt. Love it. I think you should offer us something better. I'm about two inches away from his face right now. Um, you see this guy, he's gonna kind of like lean over and go, so you guys don't know the, the Carrick family then. 
No, we're new from. here. Um, um, and he looks around and looks at Jay and goes, "Well, um, she knows his work, I guess. Uh, their work. Um, uh, you know what? <laughs> Excuse me, real quick. Um, I should just be going. Um, don't bother. Like, don't worry about looking for the prefect. Uh, if some people come looking for you, that's fine too. Um, I'm just gonna get back to my work, I guess, of trying to hold off the meeting. And if you guys would just hurry up and go look for the prefect, then we could all be saved a lot of hassle. Thank you, though. All right." All right. Grab him by the back of his shirt before he could leave. Guys, should we do it or not? It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't you know, hurt. No, what if we, you know, you keep searching, just stop in one more place. We'll look. But he mentioned that he liked this bakery in town. Was it run by the turtle man? And I oh. think you should talk to him before you go back to the meeting. I, so I go talk to the toasty turtle. Um, and yeah. you guys take care of the rest? Yes. Yeah. We'll do our best, but we can't promise that we'll find him. I mean, as a government building? Uh, back back of the um, um, like city, um, past the waterway. It's the one that doesn't have as many trees growing into it. <laughs> I let him go. Um, anywho, thank you. Um, this was so helpful of you. And then he sprints out of there. That was such a weird small man. <laughs> uh, speaking of Aerith, should we go fetch him? See if he wants to come along? Baracus? Yeah. More than merrier. Uh, Geth will nod and uh, head back up to uh, Aerith's room. Um, Aerith, you'll just complete a short rest. Okay. Uh, are, are how many hit dice? Or do I, can I just roll hit dice one by one, or do I need to commit? Did you, did you roll any um, during the last yeah. session? No. All right, then you have uh, up to five hit dice you can roll okay. um, individually. Wait, it says you only have one on your character sheet. Are you sure you didn't roll any? Uh, uh, that was from before. Like I've just I haven't added them back. I didn't know how it really worked. Well, each day you get one hit dice back, but you can use as many as you want on a short rest. Okay, I tried to add one, so because I didn't use any last session at all. Okay, yeah, if you didn't use any last session, you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, you roll them. You can roll up to five times, and I'm gonna set yours to five, and then you rolled one, so now you're at four. Okay, so. All right, but I, I got healed by death too, so I was at eleven. Yep. So now you're at sixteen. Uh, boom. Now uh, you're at twenty-four. I'll roll on one more just to get to max. So. Oh, sorry, ignore that death save I just rolled. That was <laughs> Aerith's sheet. Um, okay, so Aerith, you are now at max health, but you have two hit dice. Tomorrow you'll be up to three hit dice. The next day, four, etc. Uh -huh. Yeah. Aerith uh, has locked his room in the meantime. You've locked it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. So, Geth, you make your way upstairs. Uh, I'm going to knock on the door. Go away. Aerith, I feel like you, I feel like you would want to know. Uh, we're currently... I feel like I would like to not be murdered, so leave. We're going to go search for the prefect. We're leaving in just a couple of minutes. Join if you feel like it. Okay, Don't I won't let you bury the bodies of any other murders you commit. Geth rolls his eyes and uh, walks back downstairs. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry about that, Brendan. I don't. It's I don't okay. know what I was trying to do. Um. Yep. You make your way back down and see the group. Um. So, Aerith, what is? What are you up to up there? Aerith is thinking this over because, like. He does not feel like he should have been attacked for this if he wanted to, like, reach a deal for the sword. That's more than reasonable. But now Aerith is thinking, oh, look, I'm not getting... I had my gym stolen. I had my the sword taken. They gave me less than an equal share of the treasure when, in Aerith's mind, they all would have died without him. So he's just... What about how does Aerith's mind feel about the fact that you took the gemstone and hit it so that they wouldn't get an equal share of the treasure? Aerith thought that was his uh like earned thing because mm -hmm. they would have died without him. Interesting. Okay. 
What about Jay? Does Jay not deserve part of that gemstone? She got the hat. Interesting. So and you got a sword and a gemstone? She got a pointy hat? Aerith is willing to negotiate <laughs> for the sword. He just didn't want to be murdered. Well, here we are. You're alive in your room. It's locked, and you are sitting on your bed contemplating, right? Does, does Aerith feel wholly responsible for saving everybody, despite the fact that uh, Jay was the one that killed the dragon in the end? Well, Jay said it herself. She hit one out of eight attacks. Like, And also, like, Aerith would have also been down if he had listened to the rest of the party. She also said that hmm. she did kill the dragon, and she will take full responsibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, and all the damage that the rest of the party did didn't matter. Mm -hmm. And okay. they're, they're all downed in the end. Yeah, they we're all downed in the end. All right, Aerith, okay. then, it's too uh, bad we all didn't have a hole to hide in. <laughs> a hole to hide in. A hole to hide in. That's crazy. Um, Aerith, we'll pop back over to you in a second, okay? Um, you guys are downstairs staying at this table after this frantic elf man has run out. Geth, you make your way back down the stairs. Uh, he seems to be in a bit of a mood, so I don't think he'll be coming with us. All right. Okay. Uh, must it was to be expected. Um, yeah, let's go. Do we want to uh, split up into two groups? Uh, why broaden our search area more effectively, or are we staying as one? We have a uh, timeline. We weren't given one. Just that the meetings were happening currently, and he's not present. Timeline. Um. I say we go for a stroll. <laughs> <laughs> Long uh, walk. We can't. We can split up to cover more ground. Um. Uh. Zan and I can go to the uh the scrapyard, maybe. Maybe he's just milling around. So we'll search around in that area if y'all will go up north more. I think we can do that. Okay. So um Geth and Jay are heading north of north of the Brock and Brockus and Zahn are heading south. Yes. All right, we're gonna drop into two uh to breakout rooms, Brendan, I feel like you know which one is uh is yours to take yeah, based off the obviousness. Uh Aerith, which yes. would you like to come watch? Uh, I don't really care, so I just tell me whichever one's easier. You're with me, Aerith. Um right. we start these breakout rooms. Um assign manually, create two breakout rooms. I right, we have um assign uh Brendan. B and Map, and then we have assigned Colby, Kara, Marshall, and go to you guys' rooms. Brendan will be in conversation as we go. Um, yep. And then I am going to join. Okay, so welcome to the better room. Uh, no, um, <laughs> we are the one that's going to be on the video, so objectively, hell yeah, better. <laughs> All right, with this. Um, Eric, so I'll also switch back to you every now and then is kind of how I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, you don't have to do a whole lot. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. That's fair. Okay, cool. Um, it might be, how about, um, will you just message me if you want to do something, if enough that time passes? Because you're going to be at real time the same as them. If there's anything specific, message it. And I'll message back if it's small and you're just doing something small. But if it's bigger, we'll switch, okay? Gotcha. All right, you guys... Um, all right, you guys head out. Where do you guys head? You go straight north? Are they? I just don't know. They are literally pounding just all the time. And it's, it's upsetting Nova. It's a whole thing. So as you walk out uh, of the thing, Jay and Geth, you see a large building standing in front of you um, with some people going in and out of it. Um, you also see the waterway to your east and to the west, you see the Coliseum. Is that thing in the middle of town like the only, or is that like the only bridge on this side to get across, or are there like little bridges? Oh, I, I see what you mean. Um, you bridge? What bridge do you see to get across at all? Like, well, I don't, but that that's why I'm asking. Oh, you have like, to walk around like... or walk through okay. the water. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, w did we ever hear about what this building was? Um, not to my knowledge. Okay. I mean, it's right there. I think we should go visit this one just to just to start. 
I'm okay with that. I do not know where to start, if we're being honest, guys. I don't know what to do in this scenario. I will follow you. I'll be a muscle. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you guys make your way over, and you see some frustrated people walking out of the uh, the building and some smiling people walking in. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. What? Uh, quick question. You wouldn't happen to have seen, uh, the prefect in there, have you? I didn't see fucking shit in that route. I said, fuck this bullshit. And he walks away. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing to the smiling people. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the people coming in. Yeah, you see a woman, she goes, uh, the prefect? I mean, I'm on my way in right now for the first time. Are you guys coming? I'm feeling pretty lucky today. What is it? Uh, it's a gambling hall. I bet he's there. I mean, we, I don't think it would hurt to look, but I would prefer to get in and out as fast as possible. <laughs> you guys want to come gamble? You guys can sit at my table. I'm not a gambler per se, but, um... Aerith's hands tin, uh, tingles. <laughs> <laughs> From a distance. <laughs> it slowly closes. <laughs> Never to open. <laughs> uh, Geth kind of, like, grabs his necklace and hides the Tamora symbol. Uh, I think we'll poke our heads in, but I don't think we'll stick around enough to play. But thank you for the offer. Uh, if you do happen to see the prefect while you're in there, though, and we have already gone, please let uh, Marge over at the Brock know urgently. It's pretty important. Sure, no problem. And uh, she leads you guys inside, and inside you see a room with just a series of like large wooden tables. Think of bingo hall. Uh, with people at different tables seemingly playing different games. You see some tables where people are just rolling dice seemingly randomly. You see other tables where people are throwing cards down. You see one table at the back, um, and behind him has a very poorly written sign that says Ledgerman. Um, and, uh, and then just that's kind of what you see. Um, yeah. I start, um, yeah. Why don't you start on the right side? I start on the left, and we meet at the uh, end there. Uh, okay. You've seen the prefect, correct? I assume so. I have, many times. Um, including that one time where he was just covered in puke. That's true. <laughs> Quick side note, I have the disguise self spell, and I've gotten very personal with this guy. What if I went as the prefect to this meeting? But that's a discussion for the group. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, we can, uh, we'll split off and, uh, make like a circle around the edges of the building, keeping our eye out for, uh, is it Hendrick? Uh, Zahn rolled a one on a D100. That is terrifying. What's happening? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, you guys each loop around the room. Can I get a, uh, investigation check from each of you as you're looking for this guy? I go to each table and make sure as well. Okay. Okay, Jay. Oh. Um, Brockus is rolling a medicine check. What is happening, what is happening? in the other side? <laughs> I am terrified. Uh, you said investigation. Ugh. Yep. Yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, twelve. You guys see no sight of him as you make your way around this room. Um, I go and meet back up with Geth at the top and say, "Did you see him?" Ah, uh, no, I don't think I did. He's not here. Do you guys have any bets to place? The ledgerman says. On what? Well, I suppose it depends on what you want to bet on. One bet real quick, guy. Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. You I'll give you on. odds on anything. You choose the bet and I'll give you the odds. Um, I'll bet one gold piece on... I pull out like a 50-50 coin on if it lands on heads. I'll give you one to one odds. Or it's a coin flip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, one is heads, two is tails? Yeah. On heads. Well, I win your gold. Any other bets? I'll bet on anything, give you odds for it. Double or nothing. Same bet. And then I'm done, Geth, I promise. Oh, you just five. I don't know if... Double or nothing. Five gold. 
All right, then that's it. And I start walking away. Farewell. <laughs> Right. Hey, you, uh, other man. Um, you look like someone that would, uh, want to bet on, uh, child racing. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a crime. Their parents are okay with it. They just, they sprint. Wait. <laughs> are the children forced to do this? No, their, their parents are okay with it. Do the parents force them to do this? No, they stand at the end with, like, uh, chocolate and other goodies, and the, and the children sprint for it. Do I believe him? Give me an insight check. 25. He seems shockingly truthful. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Um, thank you, but you see we're kind of on a bit of a mission right now, but maybe later, thank you. And I'm going to take Jay's hand and I'm going to start leading her through the middle of this building trying to get out ASAP. You know, all things considered, I think that went pretty well. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> so what else is around here? Is that, um, turtle place close by? Uh, I believe that's in the direction that, uh, the others were headed. Okay. Um, oh yeah, because we went north. We could try by the Colosseum. It's um, rather abandoned, so most people... All of a sudden, know. you guys hear just, like, a loud boom echo over the, uh... Or, like, a quiet boom, I guess, but a boom nonetheless. Echo where? Just in the distance. You think that like, was them? Behind? Like, is it in the building, or did it come from outside of the building? Outside of the building. And it's fairly quiet, but you definitely hear it. Uh... I don't know if we should look into that or not. Eh, that's probably fine, right? I mean, it probably doesn't have to concern us, right? I, I think we should keep looking for the prefect. We'll tackle this problem later. Okay. Um, what's the next building that we see? Um, when you walk out? Yep. You guys see from here, um, you guys can see the Colosseum. You see across the way, you can see a fairly large building right here. You can also see a fairly large building right here that sticks out to you, as well as just a number of houses, some seemingly used, some run down. How hard is it to cross the water? You want to walk over there and see how deep it is? Yeah. Does it look like other people are crossing it? Um, you don't see anyone crossing as you walk over, but... Um, are you gonna like test the water to see how deep? Yeah. How? Um, I want to get the biggest stick that I can find. You said use your javelin. Give me a nature check. Shut up, Marshall. <laughs> no, she can. I'm literally there. I know you can tell her I'm messing around. <laughs> yeah, you find a pretty big stick. Okay. About um, nice. two and a half feet long. I walk over to the edge of the water, reach as far as I can, and push that stick into the water. The stick goes um, most of the way down. It's about two feet of water deep. Two, or two to three feet of water deep, sorry. Okay. Two and a half feet. That's how deep the water is. I so. relay that information to Marshall. To Who? <laughs> I say, you're the only one that I call Marshall, and it's a whole thing. <laughs> Get the nickname is now Marshall for Jay. <laughs> perfect. It makes perfect <laughs> sense. Uh, I, I don't think we need to, to cross this. Itchy white bar just popped up on the map. I don't it's okay. Like I popped up the gambling hall for you guys too. So as they go to places, things are being, uh, as you guys go and they go, things are being popped up. Nice. Um, I mean, I, I still think it might be worth a try to check out um, the Coliseum and maybe even the Cathedral again, just to see if he's in there by any chance. Let's go. This abandoned the area. Yeah. yeah. This abandoned area of town might be a perfect place to hide if he's trying to actively avoid his duties. Maybe he's hiding from that weird, crazy family. I would too. Let's go to the Coliseum. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys make your way um, left out of there, or I guess right out of the gambling hall, and you see this massive broken Coliseum. Um, however, the entranceway is relatively intact if you guys try to head in. We do. Mm -hmm. You make your way into the center of the Colosseum, and 
the first thing you notice is you're walking up is just beer bottle after like or ale bottle after ale bottle just littering the side of the pathway in it smells like piss and alcohol and a little bit like human feces as you guys make your way into the center of the arena in the center of the arena you see what you kind of see on the map some like vegetation has grown in and there's sand still scattered everywhere there's holes in the the ground but more importantly you see a uh, very naked prefect dancing in the center of the Colosseum. Um, he is throwing his hands in the air, and you see him wearing an old, like uh, an old um, gladiator's helmet. And he is uh, has the th the front lifted, so you can see his face. And he is just throwing his hands into the air, singing, "I'm a pretty little prefect, the prettiest prefect here." You are a pretty little prefect, and I'll come up and join him in a little dance. He loves it. He dances further. He goes. We are both pretty little prefects, the prettiest prefects here. And then he points at you, Geth. I'm a pretty little prefect. You know what? The prettiest I, there is. I have a ball to go to, actually. Would you like to come with me? A ball? A ball. Right I'm not dressed for a ball. I'm dressed for the Coliseum. Well, you know what? I have an extra dress for you. Uh, Jay, Jay, uh, would you mind dancing um, with our pretty little prefect for just just a little while? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Spin. And they just Spin. he just starts Spin. spinning at full Spin. speed, just barreling what? through the, the area. Ready? Once they start doing stop. that. Uh, I am going to cast me uh, sending. <laughs> You're gonna cast sending? Yeah. Uh, we put in the chat. Oh, yeah. All right. So who are you sending? What uh, to uh, who? Baracus. Um. Familiar range unlimited. Okay. Um let me all right, what do you say? Uh I'm basically just telling him uh we found the prefect. We're at the Colosseum. He's um, not in his right mind. Type that exactly into the chat. Message Marshall. How do you spell Coliseum? Is it one L or two? One. I have no idea. Oh, it's one. Nice. I got it right. Dude, sending is a really good thing to have. I was wondering how we were going to figure that out. That thing is absurd. It's really fucking cool, and I've been waiting to get it just so I could talk to my parents, but no, I got to use it to talk to a fucking prefect or about a prefect because he's fucking drunk and not in an important meeting. With this, he stops and looks at you and go, another batch wore off, reaches in his pocket and just, oh no, and just starts spinning again. So that's what Krakum does. And Baracus responds, we're on our way in your ear, okay. yeah, or in your head. Perfect. Jay, uh, just keep spinning. Do you not want me to go spinning to just, the dance hall? No, just, just keep spinning here. All right, and I'm going to do, um, so my barbarian training, my master taught me how to do dances of the swords. Um, and that's kind of what I teach him, minus the swords. <laughs> oh, so you, yeah, are, do you, are you saying this to him? No, 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 that's just like my description. Oh, yeah. so I'm like, ready? Follow me. And I'm like, oh, you know. You notice he is far more graceful than you are, surprisingly so. <laughs> okay, so I just do my barbarian training, and then every once in a while I go and spin. Okay, I uh, everyone actually... back to the main room. As as you guys arrive, you see a very naked prefect wearing a um. Uh, a gladiator helmet spinning in a circle at full speed while Jay dances with him. <laughs> uh, what? 
Uh, it's <laughs> it's a long story. This is how we found him. He's talking about he's uh, the prettiest little prefect around or something he like that. The prettiest little prefect around. And so you're only going to fix him? And, and he spins, spin. and he spins, and he's just... I, I felt like this re required backup, and I wanted to treat it sensitively, considering he is the prefect of Eben Barrow. I'm gonna so so what are we going to do? What, 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 what's the plan? Oh, you're waiting I, for us. I think we need to try and restrain him and bring him in. <laughs> I'm not restraining him. I, I can touch him. I'm not touching him. Oh, can I do another stunning strike? <laughs> I think I can get him to dance to the ball. Yeah, don't don't kill him, Zon. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. I just want to paralyze him. I feel like you would kill him. <laughs> I have 50 feet of rope. He then stops, looks at you guys very sober, and then goes, another batch wore off, and pulls a bag completely out of nowhere and starts trying to snort it again. I, I rush over and I take it out of his hands. Like, I try to hit the bag on the floor. Uh, yeah, I need a sleight of hand check from both of you two. Gosh, I... That's not me. Is it me? Oh, it's Jay. <laughs> Jay. Yeah, so Jay, you it's run Jay over Jay. and you grab his hand. Wow. As he's like, and you hold it back, no problem. I take the Kraken um, and put it into my own pocket. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he smells, um, not like the other. Kraken? But like, uh, Zon, you were right. By the way, you were right, Zon. Um, I think that we should go to the ball now, where I have better Kraken. He's like, hey, guys, 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 um. I'm gonna need everyone to take it down like a lot because uh, I don't know if you guys have done a lot of Kraken, but when you do a 12 hour Kraken run, you've snorted Kraken like 300 <laughs> times. And I am, I'm gonna need to lie down and I'm gonna do it here. But if you guys come back tomorrow, we can go to any ball. Any no, ball no, 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 hey, 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 no, no, no worries. No listen, worries. Listen. No, 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 no. <laughs> We need you here. We we need you right now. Like we need you right now. Don't, do you not remember you have a meeting? I I. You're the prefect. Of what? The this. Carrick family expects you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and with that, he kind of like takes off his helmet, and puts it like on Baracus, but it kind of leans off one horn, and he kind of looks at him and goes. Yeah, you're not going to pass with me. And then he looks at Zahn and goes, no. No, the J, that, that's a woman. Looks at Geth. No, probably not. Okay, guys. So here's what we're going to do. I need one of you to stab me. <laughs> what? I'm joking mostly. Um, I'm going to lay down <laughs> if you guys want to figure this one out. And he just no, kind of no, 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 no. backwards asleep onto the ground. Can like, I he pick... slams against the ground. Can I pick him up? Um, give me a strength check. Guys, I'm, I'm, going, I'm, go I'm going to reach over, and I'm going to cast Enhance Ability, uh, Bull Strength, on uh, Jay. Is okay. A saving throw? You got a 1d4, just Strength check. Uh, no, that, that's Guidance. She gets advantage on uh, with Enhance Ability. Oh, well, that's good then. So yes. in 19, you're able to pick him up and throw him on your shoulder, no problem. All right, let's go to that government building. Which way do you throw them? Um, back up or back down? Is like the dick against your shoulder or like in the air near your face? Oh, dick against my shoulder. Cool. Just making sure. <laughs> oh, that was Anything amazing. else would be yeah, uncomfortable. I'll, I'll let... What was uh, the guy's name that was looking for him? Did he ever introduce himself? Oh, um, Tomas. Tomas. <laughs> yeah. Tomas. <laughs> Tomas. Uh, I'm going to cast Sending again, and I'm going to say, Tomas, we found the Prefect. Uh, we're bringing him to, uh, or we're in the Coliseum. Would you like us to bring him there, or would you like to come here? Okay. I start walking towards um, the government. He responds in your head. I feel like I was very clear of where you could take him. Marshall does not remember. <laughs> Um, I um, we were supposed to take him to the government building, the one with less trees around it. Ah, okay. Oh. Cool. 
That's, thank you, funny. Jay. Jesus Christ, thank you, Jay. <laughs> Where are your notes? Um, Put it in your I notes. start walking there because I did ask for specific directions to the government building. What were you told? I did not listen to what I was just saying. I said we should go to the government building, yeah. which is north and the one with the less um, the trees around That's it. That's accurate. Very good. Okay. And I found some trees on the map, even. So Hang on, let me see if I have something. I feel like we shouldn't just be carrying around a oh, naked Hey, come here! Um, does anyone have any sort of, like, cloak or anything that they're willing to part with temporarily? I'm putting on his ass. <laughs> Man's got his dick out. You think I'm putting my cloth on that? No. Uh, Actually, no. You know what? You know what? I might have something. <laughs> I have a pelt. I have clothes, but they're for a woman. All we need is something to cover him. I'm gonna give him a uh, drow robes. Oh, you know he is uh, he is royalty, I guess. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. Geth will like reach over and like try and tuck it under his body, so all of his private bits are secured and. <laughs> not available to be seen. You yeah, just kind of I, wrap I, clothing around the guy? Because I did imagine that the way I'm holding him, his, like, booty hole is, like, fully visible. Yeah, probably. I don't think that's good for anyone. <laughs> well, we can't just put it on. <laughs> Stop it, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we should take him there now. I agree. I start walking. I've been walking, though. Yeah, you guys carry towards the uh, the water, um, take a left, and just walk up the pathway. And at the end of the pathway, you guys walk up a set of stairs and get to this kind of closed-in area. You see nature has quite a bit taken over all the buildings to the left and right of you as you walk. Um, and in front of you stands a uh, fairly large building that looks both equal to the town in condition and nicer. Like. Yeah, this will be a good point, Jesse. Yeah, I'm saying. Um, yeah, you see this, uh, this large building um, in front of you, um, and a very frantic-looking Tomas standing outside of the thing, going like this. And we'll take this is a good place for a break. Let's break till uh, fifty after. Sweet. Cool. You only a bit. Cool. We are good to go. All right. Um... Where did we, did you leave them at? Did you, they approach the building? They're close to the building. The aide is outside clapping happily that and they I got, got there. I got a naked man on my, on my shoulder. <laughs> so where do I put him? And where's my mom? Uh, he's going to say, uh, just keep uh, carrying him in. Uh, bring him, bring him in this way. Um, Your voice sounds different. Yeah, well. <laughs> <Holy>. <laughs> I carry him in. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, and you guys will walk into the the building at the the back the purple building the one with fewer trees in it so <laughs> not no trees just less fewer. Fewer. so where do you want him yeah he's he's ushering you you walk into this large uh building and it's just kind of a big open chamber it's large like marble uh, the floors are all this smooth marble um and it approaches at the end of this room it's kind of what used to be a great hall but nobody's really using it anymore it seems like except at the end there's a large stone table kind of in front of where the like there's kind of a throne at the back uh but there's a large stone table at the back of this room and you hear some people um talking <laughs> no honey of bees is not there that was an interesting it <laughs> would be an interesting callback, though. Oh, bring oh, him back. Lion, okay. Oh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. No, not that kind of stone table. It's a little, it's nicer. <laughs> More like a lynx or a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, not lion-like. But you see, um, uh, you see a handful of guards and then uh, a very short dwarven man and a very tall, slender uh, human woman standing uh, at the table kind of talking and laughing with each other um and the guards are all standing uh just kind of around them back there um they don't seem to be really like on alert but they're just kind of there 
do they look like they're people of importance or they're they're I... wearing decently nice clothes okay um, um and the, the person will kind of motion back toward the table and just ask for your help to carry him over there i'll carry him over there and set him down nicely on the table and i will turn to tomas and um so i think we completed your task um we get one favor and some money i believe <clears throat> excuse me um <laughs> Uh, the dwarven man is going to stand there uh, and he's going to say, uh, Tomas, you can leave us uh, now. Thank you for your, um, your, good, your good work. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. And he sprints out. Um, uh, and uh, the, the lot of you, uh, thank you for finding our, uh, our brave prefect here in Eben Barrow. He's, uh, he's well... He's well needed at a, a meeting of this importance. Um, I can um, here. Let me. Uh, I suppose I should. I should repay you for your efforts. I'm sure this took quite a bit. And he's gonna kind of look at the prefect's interesting outfit. <laughs> That's mine, by the way. I would like that uh, dry cleaned. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very well. Where are you staying, sir? Um. Damn. The Brock. We're staying at the Brock. Thank ah, you. Yes. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, so not not locals then? No, no. Um, just passing through. I mean, I know you probably hear that a lot. You know. I I hear a lot of things. Yes. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, uh, and he's gonna kind of smack the prefect in the face a little bit and say, "Hey, uh, wake up. We we need to discuss something with you." uh and the the rest of you um here uh and he's gonna reach into his pocket and pull out uh 200 gold and hand it to um geth who's the nearest one um just disperse that amongst yourselves thank you yeah i'll, I'll split it 50 between the four of us uh once we're like away from the situation um so just go ahead and add 50 because i don't want to do that later <laughs> Uh, yeah, the prefect kind of like opens one eye and goes, um, you guys talk at me. I, I swear I'm retaining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do do any of you have some water you could splash on him? I um, gladly splash all of my water skin on him because I've got two <laughs> I'm going to lean over to the guy that's been talking to us this whole time. Now is... Is he normally like this? Is his addiction to Kraken really this bad? <laughs> um, yes, I, uh, they, uh, they say uh, Kraken isn't actually addictive, just so you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, he's, uh, he's commonly like this. Mm. Okay. The, wo I... the woman will speak up and be like, it's more the alcohol that gets him there. And the Kraken just kind of puts him to sleep. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I don't. I think I've been rude. Uh, Geth is going to hold out his hand. Geth, Geth Goldwind. Uh, uh, go for it. Uh, Vanessa. Vanessa. Uh, any surname? Whatever you want it to be, I guess. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my sister's being coy. Uh, I'm Mikkel Kerrig. Ah, so you're the Kerrig family. It's a pleasure to meet you. The one and some, only. Some of them, yes. <laughs> Um, okay, well, uh, if you would be off, uh, we have to discuss the, uh, attack on Hessen. You see, we're defending a lake on three sides, and we have, we have business to attend to. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, brother, I think you scared them a little. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, that's fine. They, uh, likely don't need, uh. Meta, they don't, they don't have anything else to, to do with us. So it's fine. They can go. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank Bless you, kind you. ma'am. <laughs> Guess is going to nod at Vanessa as they leave. I appreciate the gold. Let us know if you need any other favors. Um, is that an offer? Oh, um, um, <laughs> um. We do have a bit of a job. We were just going to talk to our dear sleepy friend about uh, um 
Yeah, see. Um. Yeah, see, Vanessa, they're not interested. Just, uh, we don't. I'm sorry. Some, yeah. some are more ambitious than others, and this group seems content with their lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just thought they might want to move up. Is it a lot of money that we would get? Well, pause, pause. Move up. Like, like what? Like, social status? Move up? Yeah. Move up in any status you'd like, sir. Do business with the Carrig family, then it goes a long way. Guys, we don't have anything else that we need to do, so. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm, I'm, I uh, am intrigued. I'm also your, intrigued. Uh, offer. I'm interested. Will you allow us to decide after we've heard uh, what you're asking for? Yes, please. We're reasonable people. That would be um, ridiculous for us uh, to find you before you knew your job. That's just how it will work, you guys. <laughs> it has been fantastic to meet you. Meet you both, it is. Come sit, sit. Let's uh, not be, um, you know, brutes here. Um, and you'll see the, the aide run back in. She goes, uh, wine for the table. Um, a bottle each seems fair. For now. Yeah. I'm not Wait, an alcoholic, uh, but I'll give, a little bit. Give Medrin some water, and he's going to slap Medrin on the face a little bit more. <laughs> um, my aide will take care of any business. <clears throat> hmm. So what are, uh, what are your expertises, then? Um, I like to fight a little bit. <laughs> I... Um... I'm a fighter. I'm here for adventure. I can take lots of damage. Um, I've got a pretty good so great axe, and I, I hand it up. Admire it. I'm really down for anything. Um, and the other two of you? Uh, <laughs> past practices would include exploitation and current revolves around making sure these uh, three and another are safe and sound. Yeah, you can put it that way. It's, <laughs> yeah. We're a good team, though. We're a really good team. I think so. I killed a dragon yesterday. Uh, dragonborn. No, quiet. I, I killed a dragon. <laughs> no. <laughs> dragonborn. No. I, I, he doesn't I, know I, what you've done. Yes, oh, yes. I killed a dragon. <laughs> Uh, the I, I understand you can you can fight, but the the silent dragonborn. She he's a uh, what is your your deal? Um, personally, I don't feel like I need to sell myself in order to hear the job pitch that you need us to do the job for. So, oh, brother, I'll brother. Determine if uh, if, if awesome. we fit, then we will do it. If we don't fit, then we will walk. Brother, they probably never awesome. delivered anything in their life. They probably don't know how to deliver at all. Uh, yes. I take that as a personal offense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it, it's it's very simple, really. Okay. Uh, we need a few items of uh, particular importance to um, the ongoing conflict in the continent delivered to our home compound, uh, just to the north of here, right on the right on the lake. Should okay. be very simple for you. You just get through Eben Barrow and uh, arrive at our compound and deliver the items. That's all we need. And what do we get for doing that? Oh, well, <laughs> you will uh, then be an employee of the Carrig family. And with that, the uh, the wealth and uh, status that uh, I'm sure you deserve. You know, I have, I, I um, you know, I, I don't know if I deserve a lot, but I think uh, after everything I've been through, I think I deserve this. Um, I don't want to be too hasty, but um, if you'll allow us, we'll discuss it a little bit. We still have another party member to discuss with, but um, it's not the first time we've delivered something, and obviously it won't be the last. Hopefully. Hopefully. Perfect. Uh, the only, I suppose, hiccup 
is you will need to somehow navigate a uh, cart. We, we need a significant amount of um, items delivered. And so through the uh, Chester Tawa Wilds, generally it helps to be sneaky and silent, um, but we're going to need a, uh, a carriage uh, drawn by a horse or mule or so something. Donkey. Uh, we can, which we can provide uh, to be carried to our uh, our home. Now you said it was just to the north of Even Barrow, correct? Yes, just on so the, the edge of the the lake, across from Hessen. So comparably, the distance is quite shorter than from here than to the outskirts of uh, where Gota is, I presume. Probably a lot easier to traverse. It it's a um, much shorter distance, yes. What danger should we be on the lookout for during this travel? How did you get into uh, Even Barrel last time? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was really the muscle. I was then not the brains. The same danger, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Except this time you will be carrying a, a significant amount of um, valuable gear and uh, will not be uh, quietly maneuvering the, 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 the wilds. Do you have a druid that could help us with that? Uh, we have one or two we could em employ for, uh, for travel, yes. And it has to be a carriage? Um, I don't know how else you would carry. Um, a, a large out. cart might work, like a really large cart. Cart. You can't have like multiple mules he, he, carry them. Just have a because we did travel through the wilds and a cart was not going to make it through those sections. Ah, well, you see, that's where having somebody uh large and strong like this uh last here, and he's gonna point to Jay, uh, where, where somebody like her would uh come into hand come in handy, right? Somebody to clear the underbrush and to fight their way through uh get their way through Even Barrow. You see, oh, no. Even Barrow is a great collection uh, location. We have lots of people come through with small numbers of things, and we have a large collection of items here in Even Barrow now, and we need to move a large collection of items out. Yes. Um, normally, uh, you know, there's not a large collection of things being moved out of Even Barrow, but uh, that's where we need uh, smart minds like yours to come up with a solution. Well, if you have druids that'll help us guide through guide us through the wilds then um i believe that it is feasible just hearing it from druid rates are awful steep i'm sure as you know so um, yeah any extra expenses for extra druids would come out of your end of the pay okay now what kind of supplies will we be escorting exactly? I think it's important to know um, what we're being charged with protecting. Uh, mm. Produce. Celery. What kind of produce? Celery. 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 Is this like the potatoes in the south? So you've yes. delivered potatoes in the south. Oh, oh. no. See, it's they get it. I, I, may have <laughs> mis I may have underestimated you. Uh, brother, <laughs> I have an idea. How about you think on it? Um, we have all day, so why don't you come back around 5 p.m.? Uh, and in the moment, uh, as a sign of goodwill, would you do a small delivery here in town? Um, we want you to place a donation at uh, Saloon Salvation for the family. Okay. A modest sum of money. Um, the Salvation is just south of here on the, uh, the eastern bank of the, uh, I guess, canal, you will. Um, and... Uh, here and hands you a uh, a bag. Um, he, she just kind of holds a bag out. We try to do our part for the community. Baracus will take it. And then she goes. So you guys drop that off, and uh, if you guys come back here before five p.m., we can make a deal. If not, we'll move on to somebody more capable. <sighs> uh, now, Midrin, and he's gonna pat him on the back and. He's going to wave you guys off. And so he's going to kind of grab Meteor by the scruff of the neck. He's, he's going to lean over and start whispering something to him. Can I hear what he's whispering at all? 
Uh, give me a perception check. You're you're walking. He's gonna wait until you kind of start walking away to to do this. Okay. Um, but you give me a perception make... check. Yeah. Uh, sixteen. You hear. Um. The words. Uh, roll me a quick uh, D100. Just a quick luck check, if you will. Yeah, you hear the words King Tolstag as you uh, walk away. Hmm. Okay. Ugh. Cool. But okay. then I guess we can head out. Yeah, and you guys head out, uh, and we'll quickly switch over to Aerith. What are you doing? Uh, Aerith wants to go shopping. He saw something. Uh, he wants to ask, or he wants to go and ask Marge if she knows a place where there's uh, jewelry. Um, let's see. Uh, you might be able to uh, find jewelry throughout. Um, various street vendors uh but be careful what you're looking what you're buying um mm -hmm. i'd say uh if you are very lucky you could find something at the scrapyard uh, okay yeah i'll go check that out yes uh okay uh so you're going to the scrapyard oh uh, yeah Cool. Yeah, you walk in and there's the very uh, uh, kind of OCD small elf, um, uh, elven woman, and, and she's going to. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. How can I? How can I help you? Uh, hi. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, I don't really know of any shops that sold jewelry. Someone told me to start here. Do y'all have any? Would y'all happen to have any pearls? Pearls. 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 Uh, roll me a d100. <laughs> That's what that's what the shopkeeper says. You see, <laughs> roll me a D one hundred, and she pulls out this massive D one hundred, and she's gonna run into the into the back. Um, she's gonna say, I, "I I found I found this," uh, and she's going to bring out a uh, great axe that has a pearl embedded in the uh, the top of it, like in the the hilt of it. Oh, okay. Hmm. What I. Would it at all be possible just to sell me the pearl out of it, or would I have to buy the whole axe? Uh, I'd say you have to buy the whole axe, or uh, it just you, you you take the value down. I'm sure there's a, a good market for for some pretty great axe like this for you know some nice dwarven women. I imagine so, yeah. Um, uh, but the the pearl need uh, it needs to be a pretty nice pearl. How how much would you say that pearl would go for if I were to sell it by itself? Um, it would go for, um, um, pearl amounts. Let's see. Uh, maybe it's, it's a decent pearl. It's, it's okay. It's, uh, I'd say a 300 gold piece pearl. 300 gold piece pearl? Okay. Uh, how are, how much for the whole hex then? Um, well, uh, that would be, uh, about 400 gold pieces. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Let's see, do I have anything on me I can sell? Um, hmm. okay. Uh, let's see, I have two daggers on me. How much would those go for? Uh, where did you get those daggers? Again, I don't remember. They're, I just have them listed as just normal daggers. I sold my uh, kobold one forever ago. Okay. To think. Probably okay. the last time we. If we I'm not them. mistaken, I think you stole them from the people at the uh, the the um, the abyss, but I'm not certain. Um, oh, uh, yeah. the people that were playing at the table. The yeah, favorite. I'm not certain if that's where you got them, but I think. Yeah, she's gonna look over the daggers. Um, this one I can give you five gold pieces, and this one I can give you um, uh, one gold piece. Hmm. 
Not yeast seed. Hmm. Anything else on me that's for selling? Huh? Give me give me a quick perception check. Uh, perception. Yeah, you yeah. notice that the the pearl in this axe is like kind of beaten to shit. It's been used in an axe, and it's been like hit against stuff. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, the you say it's, that pearl will be worth four hundred, but or the pearl by itself will be three hundred, but it looks pretty battered. Are you sure it'd be worth even half of that? Uh, I'd say two hundred fifty gold. Two hundred fifty gold. So that does that bring the pri Ooh. overall price down? We'll say the 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 great axe is worth three hundred gold pieces. How's that? Okay, uh, I'll take it for three hundred gold. Right on, and you'll get um, pearl great axe, and it weighs seven pounds. Great axe. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Can I check and see if I have my feather gorilla mask? I have a bunch of feathers. Can I identify what bird they're from at all possible? Feathered gorilla mask? Yeah, I remember <laughs> that I bought a long time ago and like uh Bold is that? give me give me the Bold. best give me the best nature check you've ever rolled. <laughs> this is gonna be the one time he rolls in that one. Or oh, okay. Oh <laughs> Uh, nature, not history. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong one. Unless you think nature and history are spelled hey, Oh my! Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> this is really this is absurd. Nobody rolls like this. How did he hack into roll twenty? How do you do? How it can roll? I hack into roll twenty? Geth needs a Geth needs a buff. A twenty-four, a twenty-two, and a twenty. Back <laughs> to back to back. That's gross. Uh, um. Yes, you see uh, two hawk's feathers, mm -hmm. um, two pigeon feathers, mm -hmm. and uh, three eagle's feathers. Two oh, esteemed, I also two just have, apparently, okay, a long time, I don't remember, apparently a long time ago, I just just got a bunch of feathers, and I think we put it indiscriminate amount because I jokingly just put sixty nine. So I just want to know. What, what did you grab the feathers from? I'm honestly not sure. It's been in my inventory for a long time. I I don't know if I just stole some feathers it, from something. Oh, I think I, have, I think that, I took them from a pillow. Whenever no, we got uh, it might have been from an owl bear. Yes, owl bear. Uh, that Mine are from an owl bear. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You have owl bear feathers, and if you took them from a pillow, then goose. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. So for the spell I'm trying to cast, the one I just got in my level up, identify. I need an owl feather. <laughs> Doesn't I doubt it, it, it? I think it'd be a stretch, but I will try an owl bear feather. You can give it a shot. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I just need to, yeah. So I just need to try to cast identify. Uh, do I have anything that's magical? I'll do it on the pen I have just to make sure. Because it's supposed to, or I'll throw it in the chat real quick. Home spells. Um, let me see. Identify. So I need a pearl worth at least a hundred gold pieces. It's been established, or, or, she told me it was worth. Uh, what do you call it? Hundred fifty. So I hope the it's worth at least a hundred. The large then, pearl. Yeah. So, and then an owl feather, and I'm testing it on the, uh, crap pen because i already know what that does and i want to make sure it works tells me like the magical properties uh okay magic item or yeah so we want to get there by six yeah so oh it works yep it works okay oh uh i want to try it on my bow okay <laughs> Go. All right. Uh, so how do you how do you how do you do this spell real quick? Uh, it okay. says I need to touch it uh, for one minute. While okay, so apparently you... I need to hold the like pearl and feather. So I guess I'm holding the axe. 
So you're just um, you're just gargling these things in your mouth and <laughs> touching them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, but yeah. Yeah, you 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 grab your bow out. You get your your magical items. You're holding this this axe kind of. You got this other stuff in your hand. Yep. This is the moment you've been waiting for. You have this purple bow and dude with a mystery. You've been carrying it this entire time, and you touch the bow, and it's not magic. I oh, uh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> It's a damn purple bow. It's been a damn purple bow. <laughs> I wanted it to be magic. I sold my soul for this. Y'all have detected magic on it several times. You did give a drop of your blood to a strange man who whispers when he speaks. That's on you. To be fair, it was very much worth it. I have a three pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn around. I'll be like, oh, uh, hey, how much for this great axe for me to give it to you? <laughs> Uh, I'll take a uh, hundred gold pieces. I'll give you a hundred gold pieces. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Aerith, well, are you first, first off, let me check the three pearl necklace and make sure it actually, uh, what do you call it, works. Like er, any of the pearls from that. I want to test it on the uh, trap pan again. Or I just need to know if it works. Okay. Um... I don't remember where I got that three pearl necklace. <laughs> Why do you have so many things we have no idea where they came from? Yeah, it I don't know if you ever noticed this. Aerith just kind of grabs stuff. Oh, we notice. Everyone's noticed, Aerith. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the issue. <laughs> when you use the pearl necklace, it will work. <laughs> okay, yes. I I, re, I recoup 100 gold and give them the axe back, and I feel dumb. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's switch back to the party, and you guys walk down the steps um and you approach uh where are you going actually um we are going to go deliver this to the bottom east side of the river so like i was thinking it would probably be around the toasty turtle area wait that's not east side um by the bin. i'm terrible at directions don't let me lead directions. Someone else. Hey, Barakas is on. Would you happen to remember the place that we were supposed to deliver this to? <laughs> you really asking, Barakas, bro? <laughs> Let's be honest. The answer is no. That's... My guess is that it was over here. Have you guys? It was how... some. Hey, how far Jay, away? Jay, just give me a quick history check. I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna save us some time unless Jay is as forgetful as Tara is. Hey, no. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah, no. Jay oh is my just God. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah. Yes, do the same thing. Okay. No, this is tragic. You better. Nope. Nope. I'll try. Let me save us. Please. Deliver this to the wrong fucking place. Zon, what about you? Any idea where they're going? I remember a canal was involved. It's something to do with Saloon, is what you got. Oh my god. It, it was the say it was the Church of Saloon, um, because it was a sort of offering. <laughs> yeah, it's like the community. Y'all were so smart. Y'all are amazing. Yeah, we have half a brain. Y'all wanted to know something I figured out I can do recently? What? what? I can spin what? my character token in roll 20. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I muted him. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> the one power. That, you know, to kill any of your characters at any time. But the one so where, power. where are you guys going? <laughs> What's your plan here? Head down the river, the canal. On which side? The east side. Which one's east, Kara? <laughs> east side. <laughs> <laughs> Never eat soggy waffles. That's how I remember. So okay, good, good. All right, yeah, you, you start going down the steps, and you see a line of uh, mostly humans uh, standing outside of a large building as soon as you step down the steps here. And, yeah. What are you guys doing? Uh, we uh are 
the, the an older man is gonna say uh, we uh, we come to the salvation to um uh we get some food well good for does you. the uh does the church of saloon often offer things such as uh food supplies mm. i suppose it's this one does that, that's very fair uh, I'm gonna reach into my bag and give him a ration. <laughs> I, uh, I know it's not. I know it's not much, but it might help just in case. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, he'll, he'll take it. <laughs> say, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be helpful. Well, I think we're in. The, I think we're in the right place. I think we should. Our boy's uh, starving, but he's not taking your fucking ration. That's crazy. <laughs> That's how disgusting these he he took it. He took it. He just didn't look happy about it. Yeah, I'm saying he's his stomach is touching his back, and he's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> in, in the chat, I sent you. Do uh, you remember uh, your friend? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, cool. that was that was awful. That was awful. <laughs> yeah. So you approach this large building. It's um, somewhat run down, uh, but, but has been decently well cared for. Uh, and there are, there's a line of humans kind of walk, stepping out the door. It looks kind of like your traditional kind of church building. Uh, does there look to be any sort of uh, attendant of the church uh, by the front entrance? No. Is there enough space that we could slip by the line? Uh. There's a, there is somebody standing in the doorway. Is a line a, of people out the door and they're standing in the doorway. Is it a single like person door? Is it like a double and they're just being addicted? It's a, sing, it's a single door? person. It's a single person door. Damn, okay. Uh, should we try and push past and try and donate this so we can get back to the Brock or? I think so. That's what I think we should do, but honestly, I'm not sure. But I mean, we're donating money to the poor, so we're and really not like we're you know? <laughs> and it's not like we're asking for anything, so it's exactly. not like it's we'll be taking from anyone in line. Are you better than them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I think uh, once it would be okay. But in the future, I don't think that we should cut the line. I always hate it when they cut the line. I mean, if we were if we were here to ask for rations like that gentleman was, then I think it would be okay to stand in line. But if we're here to simply donate, then I don't see an issue with why they would uh, not allow us to uh, go in front of them, as long as we were truthful. A woman in the line leans over. If you're here to donate, just go in the damn door. He <laughs> <laughs> said it's fine. Just felt like somebody needed to move that along. This this weird moral quandary. I'm, kind of yeah, stuff. I'm sorry. I, I figured I'd let them. Uh... It was too much. <laughs> they appreciate too it. much. They made it a worse moral quandary than it needed to be. Do we push past these people nice. wanting food, or are we okay? Yeah, we'll we'll walk inside and I'll gently uh, squeeze past the guy in the doorway. Yeah, in inside you see just like um, uh, this line leads up to basically a, a row of tables where people are serving food, um, kind of at, standing just in the center of the room, just kind of overlooking everything is a uh, like a rather tall um, dragonborn um, man who is wearing like a. a kind of like a, a sleeveless shirt and an apron, um, who is just kind of smiling and nodding at people as they walk by. Yeah, looks at Zahn. Yes. I Geth will uh, usher Barakas to follow him and he'll approach the uh, Dragonborn. Oh. Um, do you guys all four walk up? Yeah. 
Hey, is that okay? Yeah. Here we go. Cool. Um, hello, my children. Welcome to Saloon Salvation. Um, are you hungry? Are you weary? Uh, thankfully, we are neither. However, we do come with a gift from uh, the Kerrig family. Oh, oh, um, uh, what sort of gift do you bring? Uh, we were tasked with delivering this donation, and I'll uh, motion towards Baraka's. And I'll hand it. So, like, look and open the bag. Open his eyes wide. This is um, beyond generous. Are you sure? What's in it? It's not our money. Um, we were. <laughs> we we cannot speak for them. We were simply tasked with delivering it. Um. How much money is in there? <laughs> Jake. <laughs> he opens and goes. Um enough to feed the people of this city that need it for a while. There's few people in Evenborough and even fewer in Vikna that wouldn't have kept some of this, if not all for themselves. So thank you, um, Saloon's children. Thank you. I bow. Uh, from, <laughs> hopefully you can help bless the rest of the city. Have a good day. <laughs> of, of course. Um, are you sure you wouldn't like a bite to eat or something? I feel like other people need it more than we do. We have food um, back where we're sitting, but thank you. Well, then, say Loon bless each of you, and, and say Loon bless the Carrick family for this surprisingly generous donation. Thank you, all of you. And may Tabora shine on you as you continue to uh, grant luck to the rest of these citizens. I, who? Is that like a friend of yours? Uh, no, she is my goddess. Oh, oh, so like um, one of those minor goddesses that some people believe in. Well, but... I, I don't think she's a minor goddess. She's that she's was fucking good. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it has to be dragged out. <laughs> but it's just like it's the goddess of good fortune. It's, just... <laughs> it's only because of her you can feed these people. Thank her. As he's being dragged out there. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Aerith, after your trip to the scrapyard, where did you go? Um, where did Aerith go? I say, do I have anything else I want to sell? Yeah, for some. Mm -hmm. magical. Oh uh, nope, I don't see anything else yet. Aerith is just going to go back to his room and. Think about right. how he's going to deal with the rest of his party. <laughs> All right. And you guys leave uh, Saloon's Salvation. Um, what are you up to? What time is it currently? At early like afternoon. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I think after the day we've had, I think I could actually use a drink for once. But we need to be back by five, right? What time is it? Yeah. Early afternoon. So we have like an hour. We have a couple hours. You have, you have a few hours till yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. One more than a couple. Like one. Okay, let's go. Let's go and then we can head back. We, we, need, we need to at least grab Aerith and try and inform him of what's happening. Oh, shit. That's right. <laughs> well, let's go back. Okay. Yeah, you guys, uh, you can make your way. Uh, how are you walking there? Which direction do you? Do you see Salem uh, Salvation? Are you on the map? Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. South and then west and then north. Okay. So around the temple in Adenas? <laughs> yeah. Cool. As you uh, approach kind of the top right corner of the temple, um, you notice a man standing on a, on a crate, a, uh, a dragonborn man uh, standing on a crate, just... shouting. What is he saying? As I'm walking past him. Um, yeah, you, you get closer to him and he's, uh, you notice he's a kind of maroonish color. He's a dark red, old, old dragonborn and what strikes you is that he doesn't have eyes just two holes 
Um, and he's shouting. Um, you hear him say, uh, Malchus is stir crazy. He's been still for too long and uh, he's going to um, need to unleash chaos soon. Um, you notice as he's kind of shouting, uh, he gets he seems to he seems to get more and more angry as you approach and more and more uh, active. And he, he's really throwing his arms around and yelling. And you notice that in these blank eye sockets, flames start to kind of erupt. And he shouts, uh, Modron and his kin will wake up soon. And they'll be upon us. And it'll be the end of days. And that's what you catch out of it. Should we make sure he's okay? Or are we just going to keep walking by him? Because, like, that was a lot. <sighs> I think I think we should go learn more. Malchus is the sole reason that we had such a hard time trying to find passage to here in the first place. And if we don't figure out what's happening soon or a way to quell it or someone else does, then I may never be able to return home, which is not exactly something I want taken from me. That didn't make sense at all to me, but okay. <laughs> I would like to return home. Okay. And... Malchus is angry, so the seas are scary. Mm. And my home is across the sea. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the sea is a large body of water. Um, <laughs> there are little creatures that live in blue water. Big water. <laughs> Big water. <laughs> yeah. Big yeah. water. He, he he continued shouting and his his he got more animated and then he kind of collapsed and he's he's sitting he sits down on the ground. Is he I like unconscious? There. Uh, he's he's not unconscious. He's he's his uh well you can't really tell, I guess. I but he's he's still breathing. I go over <laughs> there and I poke him. him. You what? I go over there and I poke him in the cheek. <laughs> Jay, please. Ew. Girl, what do you, what do you, what are you, what is this? Are you like, why, okay? why do you touch me? Why are you like this? I think uh, she needs to ask I, if you're okay. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I'm like this because I'm speaking the truth. It's the end of days and I feel that people should know. How do you know? How can you tell that I'm a girl if you don't have eyes? How can you not feel it, Dragonborn? Hmm. You're a disgrace to your, <laughs> your race. Oh shit! I can... Hey man, I can smell a lot of you. All right, I must be off to uh, my temple. Um, good day. Wait, where where is your temple? Uh, you can follow me if you wish. It's in that direction. And he'll motion across the uh, the canal. And he'll stand up and walk into the canal. Hey, we're still on a timetable. All right, so Brendan, just for, I just want to share this. I did the other group did ask how deep the water is of the canal, and they yep. tested with a large stick. It's two and a half feet deep. Yeah, he walked into it and stumbled and fell on his face, oh. and then continued walking through it. Just wanted to make sure that we uh, put that as canon. Yeah, two and a <laughs> half feet deep. I did. Okay. <laughs> Scientifically, I proved how deep it was. She found a big <laughs> stick and poked it. So that is science. Yeah, and as he kind of like got up and walked away, you're all overcome with a stench. Oh. You smell something bad. Like he pooped his pants? He all. might have. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you don't know his life. I need some of that druid craft right now and go like lavender. <laughs> Um, Geth will look after, like, will watch him as he walks away, yeah. but Baracus is right. We are on a bit of a time crunch, so I think we need to go and get Aerith, make our decision, and return. Go. Oh, cool. okay. Yeah, you can make the rest of your way to the Brock, uh, unimpeded by crazy Eyeless uh, acolytes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm writing a book. 
<laughs> Do I get to read it? Um, I mean, with your uh, intelligence, probably not. <laughs> That's... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset, but you're Could not. Could have just said no. That's crazy. <laughs> he chose violence. <laughs> come for me. I come for you, Marshall. I wasn't coming for you. It was come for question. me. I actually called myself out because I figured it's someone was thinking, wow, Will types uh, really heavy. I was. So, I was. <laughs> still hurt Marshall, though. Glad I did it. All right. Yeah, y'all made it back to the Brock. All right. I'm going to go upstairs. Guess what? Oh, no. Order a round of drinks from Marge. Great. Zahn, are you drinking or are you going upstairs with Baracus? I'm going to drink. Zahn's drinking. Okay. All right, Baracus, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to walk up to Air's door. It is locked, but ba- bears outside. Go away. Go away. Is he just repeating? <laughs> I think he's talking from inside the room, Geth. <laughs> there is an worse. owl. I wish Bear could talk. Listen, I'm, I'm thinking. Go away. We need to talk, man. Uh, you tend to talk with Eldritch Blast, so I will pass. Mm. Yeah, I did. I'm not, I ain't come here to apologize at okay. all. I don't care. However, however, if there's one thing I am, is that I am fair. I was angry. I was upset. And uh, I don't like to take it out on my friends, and I should have taken it out on you. Uh, I stand by what I did. However, you helped us kill the dragon. So you rightfully deserve your fair share. You can come down when you want, if at any time. That's cool with me. But there is gold outside for you. I'd come quickly if I were you. And I'm just going to drop... Uh, um, well, what did I... Uh, Three hundred and fifty gold, and dip out. Aerith will look through Bear's eyes, and once he's gone, he'll go and get the uh, the gold and lock his room back. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> You're all the uh, the rest of you are downstairs with a round of drinks. There's yeah. an extra one for where Aerith should be. <laughs> uh, how much were the five drinks, by the way? Uh, a silver piece, a piece. So, uh, um, whatever that is, five, five silver. silvers. <laughs> Gone up since this morning. I might have underpaid, sold y'all this morning. <laughs> it, I, I no, think that's it's inflation. Every time, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's not inflation. It's a it's a fast moving market here. In, uh, <laughs> it's like gas prices. <laughs> Later in the day, they're higher. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So, we do need to discuss. Are we willing to take this? Hey man, I've always wanted to be. Um, I don't know. Almost royalty. So we would be know. in the mob. Hey, whoa, whoa, that's a strong word. That's a very strong word. I've dealt with the mob. They're not the mob. The mob tried to fucking kill me for winning that blackjack when I rightfully didn't cheat. So no, they're not the mob. They are I, the mob. Really? I think it I think it is yeah, a little bit. They're suspicious. selling cabbages in quotes, just like the other guys were selling potatoes in quotes. But that's different. Sorry? Right? Not cabbages. It's so it's not celery. We're clear. It's not celery. It's not, it's not celery. celery. But it's definitely not cabbages. Or celery. Whatever. It it's dr- <laughs> they're not selling what they're they're not selling vegetables. Oh. How did I not get that? <laughs> oh. Barack is you sweet innocent summer child. 
Um, wow. So, so they we, say that we deliver their product for them and then our <laughs> reward. Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> <My cabbages>. <laughs> <laughs> That's who we would be like, like going through the woods in a, with a cabbage cart, you know, but like, <laughs> and our reward is to work in their organization. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Like we just get to be employed by them. And we, we get what we deserve. It. And they, they said, we get what we would deserve, which is not a concrete number. It's very fluctuating. I don't know how they feel about dragonborns. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm hesitant to get in bed with the mob, especially because the last people we ran away from because we couldn't find their potatoes. Yeah. I mean, I guess you have a point. Um yeah so what do we do do we just say no to the mob i kind of like the idea of joining it i mean maybe we get what we deserve isn't just being a part of doing their tasks you know we get the money and the fame and the glory for all of it which none of what you we've had and we we know they like dragonborns they just gave a bunch of money to a dragonborn right I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, I think yeah. I think one thing we have to keep in mind is that this group might be in opposition with the one we encountered in Gota. Oh, shit. I did That's not even a think great about that. point. You know what? No, fuck it. We're not doing this. <laughs> what? Group in Gota? Uh, we ran into another family that was interested in selling the equivalent of celery. And they weren't exactly kind uh, to Barack is here while we were there, nor to Zon and I. We're as shit. No, no, don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> he, he threatened our lives. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I just think it's important to realize that if we deliver for them, meanwhile, we're supposed to be on mission for this family, the one in uh, Gota, then we might be causing problems either with the people we would currently be working with versus them or the other way around and so forth. And Ray works for the other guys. So oh, if Ray is true. still here and she knows what we're doing, she could tell them what's going on. She works with, but she doesn't work for, I believe. I think she's a bit, I think she offers her services to more to other people other than just them, which is why we were able to seek passage. So I don't think they work exactly for her or she doesn't work for them. Okay. But I personally, I don't want to be at odds any more than we already are uh, with what's his face back in Gota. What was it? I don't know, but Baracus was told to remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what he didn't do? <laughs> uh, Dion and Bizrick. To learn shit. <laughs> uh, Dion and Bizrick, I believe, were their names. Yeah. Yeah. And while we may not have the same fame and fortune that we would get from acquiring them, we also wouldn't be expected anything else of them which I think puts us in a much safer position than if we completed this and they continued to ask us for favors and quests and so forth. Baracus, I think you're the one who's most in danger out of all of us uh, if we decide to work for that and that theory is true. I know you didn't have to say it again. I know I'm the most. <laughs> I just want to get your opinion on it specifically. Yeah, that could de like that could definitely be a problem. Um, we could just. I don't want to be in a scouting. <laughs> you don't want to be an even barrel. I don't want to be an even barrel. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can talk to Ray about leaving sooner. Um, yeah, if we help the mob, since they are the mob, since y'all said they're the mob, we help the mob, <laughs> then the mob's gonna consistently want us. And just getting here, 
So, so imagine we have to keep fucking running errands into the wilds. No. That's that's true. Yeah. Jay, thoughts? Because we have to come back here to get paid. I think that is fair. Um, I'm always down for an adventure, but I believe that you guys know that, and if the three of you are against it, I think there's fair reason to not go with it. And Zon. I want to experience as much as I can experience and I don't want to be chained to a section of woods forever. I'm also in favor of not taking this uh, mission for them. I, I think it's a little bit out of our purview and I don't think we need to take it. Cool. So what do we want to do? That's the next question, right? What's the next thing? Well, we, uh, Geth is going to pull them out. We do have these letters to Am still. You still have them? To who? Uh, to Am, the uh, shipwright that lost his head whenever uh, we were ambushed by uh, um, the cat lady. What's her? Hurrah. 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 Oh. This was this was the guy that steered the ship that took all the tabaxi to safety and then oh, it was later yeah. beheaded. It was like yeah. Anne's best friend. Got or yeah. Air, like Aaron's best friend or something. We're here now, I think. He was, Anne mm -hmm. was the, the ship captain that was gonna take all the tabaxi. Oh one whose head rolled um into you guys as you started that fight that got Rockus's eye fucked up. Oh. <laughs> as you can see yeah. on his character sheet. Yeah, the scar. That's from the arrow injury. I love it. I love it. Um, we do still have these to deliver. Uh, and quite personally, there's also a, uh, a sort of university and possibly information that I would like to try and seek out in Sava, um, just north of Even Barrow, but that does require us crossing a river and entering a uh, new territory as well. I believe there was also business we could uh, attend to, and I think it was Fay Golf hmm? um, on the uh, eastern part of the continent. Check your notes. <coughs> <laughs> I, I have notes. I'm trying to check them. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm impressed by your notes. Yeah, I know, it's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. You guys have a map of Vigna, if that helps you remember things. That's, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I think there was something in Fay Golf that we could have done as well. Or what did I? Oh, JK. The only notes I have for Fagel, uh, where it was that there were orcs there. Cool, JK. Oh God. Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> that's that just came off. I don't off care how racist that sounded. Not going yeah, there. that was like that's aggressively racist, right? <laughs> 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 My bad, but we not going there. Oh. <laughs> it, it's all it's also probably one of the furthest places we could travel to so I, I think it's best to leave that alone for the time being damn that was racist <laughs> but i i do know that am's family uh lives in uh Mulvick. oh um, okay i well, think that the mom was talking about the uh war on the lakes in hessen mm -hmm. so if we could avoid that that we would, would also, good. to get to uh, anywhere north of us, however, we would have to travel fairly close to Hyrax, and I think that's where the military army is, so we'd be at risk of possibly getting into skirmishes between here and wherever we're going. Well, could we take, like, Sava up? Uh, possibly, yeah. We would just have to make it to Sava first, and that's probably the, I think that is the closest, other than Hessen, but... I don't know if we want to go to Hessen. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't really want to go to Hessen. Uh, but Zon, there's also the, uh, uh, didn't you say you wanted to visit Yurg in the Ashfield Expanse? Yeah, I think there's a treasure down in Mordor at the <laughs> south end of the island. And, uh, mm -hmm. but Mordor. <laughs> I don't know. That just seems like a trek. 
<laughs> Where is it? Uh, it's not. And with this, uh, Marge is going to kind of, <clears throat> were you all planning to stay here tonight? Um, you didn't pay. Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry about that. I'll go ahead and pay for another uh, four nights. Yeah, cool. And that'll be a... Uh, fuck no. Um, I think it was <laughs> it's a, in notes. It's a in gold notes. piece. Oh, is it? I'm like 90% certain. Wait, now I don't feel good about that. Wait. All right. <laughs> it, uh, everybody everybody, take a gold off your character sheet or Marshall take uh, five. But um, with that, uh, the party is uh, at a crossroads in Eben Barrow. There's still journey to get out of it, but... Uh, yeah, where are you going to go next? What are you going to do? How are you going to get back home? I'm amazed that you took the, you, you, you didn't take a delivery job. You <laughs> <laughs> service my fucking ass. If, 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 we only deliver letters if that wasn't clear. We're not oh, like that's what it was. Item delivery service. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have to go. We're getting dinner right now. So. Fair. Tell everyone I said okay. hi. Right, so, oh, oh, B, what time is it in session? Uh, it is um, mid-afternoon, like 3 p.m. All right. Um, cool. So that's what we'll start off next time. Um, and, okay, next week we get in early, so we should be able to play. So yeah. we'll be good. All right. See you guys later. Yeah, great bye. job. Adios. Bye. Bye.